have audio. Welcome back to Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. We're going back into it again with the yay shit, because the I I, just, I couldn't just have one. I couldn't just have one. I, I had to. I have to watch the rest. It's just something that I need. <laughs> I need to do. All right, come. So yes. I think I've got everything ready. Um, but first I'm going to do some daily stuff, I guess. Do my dailies. Get back involved. Gay, it's me, Gay. Welcome, welcome back to the Shady Harbor. We have our daily Matt Walsh quote. All right, I'm enlightened. I have been enlightened. So I reset everything yesterday, and I didn't realize that I would reset my uh, werewolf, which eh. Uh, your favorite person on the planet, heck <laughs> Ironically, ironically, I'm sure. No, I just love the I just love the quotes we can write for the guy because he he says just the most awful shit. It's amazing. I'll be back. Hold up. For a pack of socks. Oh my gosh. He's so crazy. Hold on, I just need to grab some snacks. I realize I don't have any. So I have to be more careful now since I've got kids in the hands. You. you were nearly that desperate. No. Alright. Okay. Let's check and see if I've got anything I can... Whoa. Is that my computer or is that the game, because getting some hella lag. Alright, it's still researching stuff. Tw 12 hours left on the research. Lame. I think I can deconstruct. Just those. Anything I can level up? Movement speed. Duration. Ooh, duration. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'ma do that. Earth and heart needs to be leveled up so I can. Me. 
Look, that dog's wagging tail in the background is so cute. So cute! Alright. Uh, I don't need to do anything else on this character right now. So I'm gonna just set you there. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, huh. There we go. Alright. My only issue that I'm gonna face is how am I gonna save my vampire character without destroying the vampirism? Oh, I'm in the wrong city right now. Damn. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Tales of Tribute. Gonna run, 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 run. Send her back to what is it, Somerset? I think I was in Somerset. Where is it? Is this where I was? No. Shimmerine. Malinor. No. Where the fuck? Not that. Hi, oh, I'm the Ivy Throne. No, I'm trying to find like the city that I started in, but I can't remember where it is now. Shit. There we go. Local guard. Um, some breakfast. Got some Christmas cake inspired yogurt. Yum yum. Shoot you? No! Why? No. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna start playing the second hour of the Infowars Yay interview, which is just friggin' amazing so far. Hmm. Rib. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go just quickly. I'll be back very shortly. Don't go anywhere or do. Either way, though, I'll be right back.
um, after this short break. I'm back. Sorry, I had to um, uh, interact with people. All right, let's do it. Let's just move straight into it. Financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. Justin Trudeau. I mean, I thought he was kind of a cool guy. Then I started to read what he he said. This is a couple of weeks ago. He was, or maybe this is September, mm -hmm. but he was talking about people who are not We're vaccinated. Back. He said they don't believe in science. They're often misogynistic, often racist. No, they're Ooh, not. That was not that, smart of him at all. Right. He said, but they take up space. Mm. And oh. with that, we have to make a choice in terms of a leader as a country. Do we tolerate these people? It's like, tolerate? Them. Now you do that's, sound like no, Hitler. That's well, the Bill of Rights is a stumbling block on the way to shutting down speech that the left doesn't like, at least in government. But there's a new avenue for those who would like to... They never talk about what speech it is. Oh, the left doesn't like this speech. Yeah, yeah we don't like racism and intolerance and, like, right-wing violence. <laughs> um... Why not talk about what we actually want to shut down? Yeah, we want to shut down um, some forms of speech. M namely, hate speech. And what, are you for hate speech? I mean, it's Tucker Carlson, obviously. Oh, just let it go into the marketplace of ideas. But then you fucking cry about it when you when the marketplace of <clears throat> ideas rejects your fucking racism. Holy, holy moly. Censor what you say and think, and that's corporations. The left have wised up to this. If you want to stop someone from telling the truth, use companies to do it, the social media giants, and they are. For many on the left, the view seems to no. have become that if you can't beat them, prevent It's just like, there's no leftist organization secretly trying to um, control um, corporations. You no, know, like, um... People are doing that thing, right? They're doing that thing called voting with their dollar. That thing, like, I'm not saying that... I, I don't believe in voting with your dollar. I don't believe that um, you can create... You can effectively change um, um, this system from the inside. Um, I don't think that that's, like, possible. Um, yeah. The free market, yeah. Because that's... Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to actually do those things like like that. Mm. I mean, they just get pissed off when the free market doesn't agree with them at the end of the day because the free market sucks and they know that and that's why they try they advocate for fascism while pretending that it is free market it, the free market that they want. They just want to have control over the free market, which makes absolutely no sense. Them from speaking. So far the most prominent casualty of the crusade against oh. free expression. Oh, hold on. Um, the counter! We got the counter back. Our conservatives don't have any real beliefs. No, like, it's in the name. Well, I mean, it's not in the name. When, when you think about it, when you really think about it, conservatives are not conservatives. They don't want to conserve what we have. They want to regress to a point in the past that they believe in. It's 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 a, a, a when as we grow older and we move apart from it, we we are alienated from our parents and our family and our financial and emotional supports. We fe we it, that that affects us negatively, and so we long for our childhood because we had those support structures. Um, capitalism alienates us from all of those support structures. Um, capitalism destroyed the family, the community. Um, it created the false um, nuclear family lie. Um, it created alienation between any support structure we have so that all we can do is depend upon the capitalist um, for our uh, sustenance and to only be able to recreate the conditions of our own 
slavery um, under capitalism. Where was I going with this? <laughs> um, when we get older, we are alienated from those support structures, right? Um, so we l will always want to go back to that childhood and we associate history with good times. It's not stupid to think like this. This is just how our brains work because when we had, we had those structures beforehand, but we don't have the language or understanding to realize why we don't have them now. And we assume that it's because the history, our past, when we, it, things were better, things were safer, things weren't as harsh when we were kids, we think back to the past. And so conservatives take that feeling and run with it, and they want to regress society to a fictional past. They want to do the same thing to society that they themselves want, and that is to have those support structures, the emotional support structures, the financial support structures, the, the, the family support structures that they no longer have because um, capitalism has alienated them from those things. They don't have the language or understanding to fight the real problem, which is the system of capitalism that, that creates these problems in our lifetimes. We're very bad at thinking of history outside of our own lifespans. Like, we're just not good at that. And we shouldn't expect people to be good at that. Because we have to learn to overcome that. And the only way to do that is through education, which has been eroded over time, because knowing about these things does not benefit capital. <sighs> And so, yeah, conservatives long for, you know, their parents' love, which is why a lot of these uh, conservative uh, pundits tend to talk about the family, you know? They talk about the family. You've got you've got Jordan Peterson, um, fucking, oh, what, what was his name? What was that guy, um, Peter Molyneux? No, Stephen Molyneux? I can't remember. It's not the gaming one. I fucked up thing from history. And you, you never heard of before, yeah. And like he was always talking about like the parents and blaming the the mother for having sex with bad people, and it's just like, oh my gosh, he just wishes that all women would have sex with him. This is just fucking weird. But yeah, um, that's just it, and 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 that's why you can't. That's why you can't blame individuals for this shit, because it's something that you have to be taught, and people aren't taught this stuff. So I don't have, like, a hatred of Tucker Carlson as a person, because I don't know who the fuck he is as a person. I have a hatred for the things he says, and the systemic problems that he upholds, you know? And it's moving past this idea that we can attack people as individuals, we can change minds as individuals, um, and look at actual material solutions to our problems. And the only thing I can come, the only sort of solution I can come to as an anarcho communist is to advocate for. Creating communities um, that can run. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, there's that as well. But we also need to, like, well, there are things we can do here and now to create, like, mutual support. Like, read um, Guerrilla Warfare. You look at um, how, you look at how Che Guevara um, and, um, and that went through Cuba. They didn't go... They didn't jump into Cuba and start, like, killing people. They went into Cuba, and they went to the people, found out what those people needed, and gave them what they needed. And people chose to follow them, and they created a movement out of that. We need to be able to 
create mutual aid networks um, that don't rely on government on the government to um, exist. We need to be able to cr to create communication networks. We need to be able to prepare for a time where things might not be so good with that, good for us. Find like minds, not change minds. And has been the radio show host Alex Jones. There is a concerted effort by the Democratic Party and multinational corporations and big tech to silence conservative and nationalist and populist voices. There's also guys on CNN that spend their whole day calling Facebook and saying, can you ban this person? He may be America's best known conspiracy theorist, but this week, Alex Jones's content will be a little harder to find. Shame on the mainstream corporate media for not defending the First Amendment, but instead attack dogging, calling for federal regulators to shut down independent free press working with big tech this whole first amendment um bs is so weird for me as someone who doesn't live in america like you all act as if like your first amendment rights protect you globally <laughs> you all act as if the rest of the world doesn't exist or matter <laughs> it's just like what the fuck are you talking about yeah, like it's this. It's religious. It's religious. Like y'all worship these, but the the fucking Supreme Court, which is like an unelected group of officials, and you're dealing with the consequences of that now. Like the system is fair as a capitalist system. The American system is fairly good, but you've reached a point now where it's been corrupted. And the corruption is so deep that you can't actually do anything about it because you've set government up to be very hard to change to try and avoid corruption. And it has avoided the kind of corruption that it's tried to avoid for a very long time. It's about speech without consequences. Yeah. Oh, but like, it's not even that. It's not even the concept. The, it's, it's, it's this, it's the call back to the First Amendment. Like, hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like the, the callback to the First Amendment. Like th that's 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 some that's something that was written a very long time ago, and probably needs updating. You know, <laughs> it need probably needs to be amended to protect people. <sighs> it's just it's just weird. It's just so weird. It's like um, it's like it's it. it, it, it it's like um, uh, Jewish um, uh, scholars, like like peep, pulling apart the the Torah and the the scriptures. I can't remember what the 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 whole is called. Sorry, but like it, the 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 laws and trying to come up with like all of these things. It's like it's it's exactly the same as religion. It's it's so weird to me from the outside. But yeah, I, I I think there's better way, there's easier ways to talk about freedom of speech than like screaming about the First Amendment, which doesn't really, it doesn't really affect the kind of thing that you're um, talking about in that sense. Actually, yeah, I don't actually need to do this. I'm being silly. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I just I realized yesterday that I don't need to really do what I'm doing. Smoke screen for bad, bad actors. Yeah. Well, First Amendment. Like I I just I just wish that Americans would move away from that because as as an Australian, like I want to talk about real material issues. I don't want to. I don't. I don't care about your religious. Uh, um, commitment to a book that some like like shit that uh, old people d old dead people wrote uh, hundreds of years ago i'm interested in what's happening right now and what needs to be done uh to fix it in the best possible way um the the, the first amendment the second amendment it's in the bill of rights and it's just like okay cool that's cool um but that's not really relevant here <laughs> To someone in another country and it makes you look like a fucking idiot people know what's true they can smell it info wars the most that 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 that's called um oh that's called uh empiricism 
I think, or empiricism. What is that called? Uh, whatever it is, it, it's bollocks, and we moved past that like millennia ago. Seriously. Band network in the world. In a free country, Bronze Age everyone can be heard. Yeah. In totalitarian societies, only the powerful can be yeah. heard. Every everything written in the past needs to be compared to material reality, which is why I call myself an anti-fundamentalist Christian. The Bible needs to be um, compared to what we've learnt about the world. You know, if God created everything, God created science, God created nature, like, and if we we can like learn about His creation, right? And so, if we can do that, then we can critique the Bible as to the relevance of certain things. And the same the same should be uh, should go for um, any sort of like uh, Bill of Rights uh, or anything like that. You need to be able to back it up to like today. Shit changes. The internet didn't exist back then. The evil abuse of children that the world is waking up to today has been going on for many, many years. The Industrial Revolution was fueled by hundreds of thousands of children sold off of orphan trains at local fairs across the country, many of which were born within orphan asylums and referred to as foundlings. History shows us that not everyone what sees an innocent child as someone to protect. And the Balenciaga scandal is exposing a hidden cult that celebrates the death and torture of children. The same photographer oh who placed the Supreme Court ruling on... Uh, uh, okay, he's, they're talking about blood libel. Blood libel uh, is an um, anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, the idea that Jewish people eat babies and torture babies. Like, that, that that's where it all comes from. It always comes back down to, like, anti-Semitism. Every single time... 84. Let's go. Let's Child go. porn in the Balenciaga ad that sparked this whole recent scandal also did a photo shoot for France's double... Oh, what scandal? Oh, you're gonna make me look up stuff. Stop making me research stuff. Because you don't. Ad, uh, inappropriate campaign. Sorry, I thought, I, I saw this one, then I thought... Uh, Kanye, oh no, this is during the, this is during the interview, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I thought, I thought, oh, that's gonna be interesting, oh no, I'm getting spoilers, I'm getting spoilers! <laughs> Uh, uh, New York Times, People.com, Washington Post, News.com, Independent, okay. Uh, the backlash surrounding Balenciaga's, uh, recent... What? Can... What? Fuck off. Fuck! Fuck off! Fuck, fuck off! Fuck, fuck, fuck off. What is this? What is this shit? Can you, like, go away? What is this shit? Ah, oh, there's a close button there. The backlash surrounding Balenciaga's involving children is going strong. They've been uh, grabbed, uh, they be one BDSM teddy bear. BDSM teddy bear. Wait a second, what the fuck? That's weird. Why is it- why did it hide that? That's weird. Uh, BDSM. BDSM teddy bear? Ah. Oh. Wait. What? It was just a goth- it was just a goth teddy bear. It's just a goth. Are people seriously just scared of goths again? Look. It's just a goth. Wait, that was it? That was it? 
It was a teddy bear and fucking fishnets. What the fuck? Who cares? It's just a goth. I... Yeah. Valencia ad campaign castrated children? What? Who painted? Ah. Okay, so that uh, is fucking weird and gross. Yeah. What was the what was the artistic cho choice? Fucking weird. Ew. I guess I guess all I can say about that is ew. Gross. Ah. <sighs> oh well. Back to the video. Like. And just, it, basically the teddy bear though is just like a teddy bear, like in goth, in a goth outfit. That, that's hilarious. Audio disappeared. It's working here, but for some reason it's not, um, it's not working in... Uh... Ah, wait, what? Wait a second, what? Oh, that's why, because I did that, because I hit it. Alright, cool. Fuck. Sorry, I had to, I panicked because, like, Bullshit was showing up on the screen. Had to um, restart the stream. Had to um, uh, delete the VOD and doing all of that. Yes. Fucking annoying. Deleting the delete the VOD and start again. Now I'm not sure if I can continue watching it. Because, uh... uh... Give me a minute. Who knows? Uh, does anyone watch this already and knows the parts in it that's, uh, that are, uh, this one on one? I really hope that was the only spot in there. But uh, this was in, so I'll just uh, I'll keep watching up until the point where um, they'll get back to the thing. Sorry. So yeah, Kanye. You, you're gonna have uh, audio, but no uh, visual, just for a little bit, so that I can just make sure that there's no more TOS shit. West was pretty close with Balenciaga before they got cancelled for that last photo shoot. Kanye's been all over the place for years. Everybody knows that. I need I'm sure he's been switch. through a lot. I feel for him, but let's keep our eyes open, yeah. It's a very small club, and yet the majority of us still seem to obsess over them, like royalty, which begs the question: Do we have any power? And oh, if we someday we've got some, we've got some, we've got some. Uh, sorry, up on screen. Oh, I'll show you it. We've got some. Um... Oh no, I got to do all of this again. <sighs> love it. You gotta fucking love it, right? Where are we? Game. 
There it is. We got some um, anti musk. Find that we do. What are we going to do about this evil? Reporting for Infowars, this is Greg Reese. <laughs> Fuck you, Greg Reese. The music does go hard indeed. We will have video again shortly when we get back to the actual um It's almost like we got Yay here. The okay. whole building's just crazy. Alex Jones oh, here geez. back live with Yay. Nick Fuentes riding shotgun and we're going to get Laura Loomer on the line. He didn't want to ear, wear an earpiece. That's fine. We're going to call her on his phone in like 10 minutes or so. So we'll get to you, Laura. But he wants to get her oh, on. So yeah. That's great. We'll get her on. Yay. Oh, they just did a section on blood libel and then showed us some shitty shit. Let Fuck. me bring up, since you guys want to get on this topic, <sighs> the, the meeting with Trump, they're now using it against Trump. They're misrepresenting what who who Nick is. Uh, and I, I think that's fair to say. And they're, they're lying about you. And they're trying to make it the new reason that DeSantis should be the 2024 <sighs> front runner. And I like DeSantis in many ways, but I don't like who he's aligning with all these big donors and him playing along with this. It's, it's very troubling. So, so tell us about the meeting and what really happened there. Nick, you have the minutes on it. That's right. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's where, where to begin. We, uh... This is the weirdest shit ever. What's going on? Um, well, I want to set the record straight, first of all, because there was a big piece in NBC the other day written by Mark Caputo with a lot of lies about the dinner. And I don't know if people were misquoted or if bad quotes were given, but people are being led to believe that this was somehow a setup or an ambush to make the president look bad. That's not true. Ye loves Trump. I love Trump. We came to the dinner to have a discussion with him and have a discussion with him about the... Uh, wait. Did uh, does Andrew Tate do um, commentary on boxing matches? Because I swear, at when I was doing deliveries yesterday, I went past the pub and I heard Andrew Tate's voice on the TV, and I just shuddered. You know what? Say what you like about Andrew Tate. Him and me have one thing in common. God fucked us over with our voices. 2024 race. Ye had a proposition for him. And so a lot of it was really put together in the last minute. I didn't even really know until I was at Mar-a-Lago uh, whether or not we would be at the dinner. It was something that... Who would have known who fucking Nick Fuentes was a couple of years ago? Ye and I discussed on the flight there and on the car ride over. So I, I just want to get that cleared up straight away um, because I think Ye and I both believe that Trump is a great option. It's it really just comes down to Trump and yay for the most. But them trying to premeditatedly claim it was some secret meeting and he knew he was meeting with you. That's not true. Yeah, me and him have one thing in common. We, we both got we both got fucked up voices. He sound he's he's got like a bit like when you when you don't see him up front, he just sounds like a nerd. He just sounds like a nerd. And and like me, my voice is like way too masked. No, yeah, and um, and it was surprising. And I sound like a nerd because we had this conversation the day before we flew out. Um, we were at we were in L.A. Uh, that nerd. And I was told it may not even be possible for you to get into Mar-a-Lago. They said because there's so many people that will intercept you. There's a guest list, and you have to be on it, and there's a security list, and all these things. So I was told that I may not even be able to get through. Well, we pulled up to the club. They checked out, yay, they checked Pulled out Karen's ID and information. We drove up, we walked in, we sat down in the lobby. The president came out of the dining room, and that was that. He invited Ye to dinner, and I don't know if it was Ye or Trump, but one of them said, uh, well, we want to bring uh, Jamar, uh, Karen, and Nick into the dining room. And so we came in, we sat down. Well, we took some pictures, <laughs> yay. Uh, <laughs> oh, of, he's talking about, like, um, meeting with Trump. <laughs> lit up the whole room. Everybody wanted to get a picture. Because Trump, Trump didn't know, even know who Nick Fuentes is. Like, that, 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 that's how, like, who the fuck would know who Nick Fuentes is? He's the nerd with the big hands. With him, we sat Although, down. Although, why is he wearing such, like, a huge hoodie? Is it to, like, hide that he's got, like, humongous hands? at the table um and i want to say it initially it was 
<gasps> oh, he must have worn that hit hoodie to see Trump, because Trump would have been like, oh, I, don't know. I don't like his, I don't like his hands. I don't. I've got the best hands, best hands in China. As a young YouTuber, go Cassidy Campbell. Cass Cassidy Campbell, who's done a few amusing vids as Tate. Oh my gosh. It's a very pleasant go, dinner. Childers. Trump gave kind of the <laughs> standard black voter pitch. He talked about the HBCUs, the opportunity zones, things like that. And then it turned out that um, Ye had accidentally sent a text message to a lawyer that both Trump and Ye share um, and forward him some intel that Karen gave to us about how we were going to handle the Trump meeting and how to read his body language and the kinds of things that maybe we should avoid or things we might want to say. And so before the dinner, Ye accidentally forwarded that to a lawyer who then in the middle of the dinner apparently called. Yeah, he did the same thing as fu as as fucking um <laughs> as Alex Jones's lawyer did. <laughs> oh, Trump idiot. to say, hey, Karen Jorno's involved. This is a setup. You guys are being set up right now. It yes. was really just like, based they, on they, a misunderstanding. They they they, they were being that set up. That that they they absolutely were getting set up. That's that's the hilarious thing. Well, he, well, who's this lawyer? Uh, do you mind if I say the name? Yes. It's yes, you mind? Or? No, I don't. Okay, it's uh, Nick Gravante. So he was texting. I don't me. mind. I don't mind any names. Okay. I think that's the general. Just so, let, let him let him let him finish the entire story. Right. So, because we what pulled up in the car and Ye said, "Here, I'll forward you these notes." So he forwarded it to me, and I said, "Hey, I didn't get the text." And we kind of brushed it off, and we found out later he meant to send it to Nicholas Fuentes. He sent it to Nicholas Gravante on accident. So the dinner was actually very pleasant. It was very friendly. Ye picked out a song to play. He put on Say You Will off of right. 808s. And then Trump said, oh, I don't know. Let's put on one of your hits. So he put on Stronger. It was very congenial. Well, then in the middle of the dinner, Trump... Yeah, I mean, that, that, that was... Prince was trying to, like... I think he was trying to... Um, uh, what's the word? Like, protest it or something like that. But yeah, it's just... Just a lot of bullshit at the end of the day. Gets this call because Nick Gravante apparently sent the tax to one of Trump's guys or somebody. Somebody called Trump and said Karen is giving Ye intel because Karen worked for Trump. She ran the state of Florida during the Republican primary in 16. And so he got the heads up. They, they thought it was some big ambush. So he gets off the phone and the tone totally flipped. And he starts telling Ye these stories about how some of his black constituents had betrayed him. He told the story about how he got ASAP Rocky out of jail. He told the story about how he got the uh, NBA basketball players out of the Chinese jail. And the moral of the story was, if you go against me, if you're disloyal to me, I'll crush you. That was kind of the subtext of the stories from Trump. He said that Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian, he said some nasty things about her because she endorsed Joe Biden after Trump released, uh, what is it, Alice? Uh, Alice Johnson. Alice Johnson from prison. He commuted her sentence and then gave her a pardon. So he felt betrayed by that. And then Ye made the proposition and said, hey, I'd like you to be my running mate in 2024. And Trump sort I, of- I gave him the opportunity. I didn't say I would like him to. I said, you have the opportunity Right, yes. Be my running mate in 2024. Yes. And, Will he uh, wear a mask as well? Wait, wait, he said, went up to Trump and said, I want to give you an opportunity to be my running mate, as if Ye has got any fucking chance in the fucking world. Holy fuck. I think it would look cool. <clears throat> I do think it looks cool. <laughs> So he sat back and folded his wow. arms and he kind of smirked and he sort of dismissed it, but then he, he got a little bit heated and he said, you can't win, you'll never win, don't run, you can win at a lot of things, but you can't win at this. And then he turned to me and Karen and said, you guys are smart, I know you work for him, but don't lie to him, tell him, tell him he can't win. And, you know, I love Trump, and I love Ye, and so I'm looking at Trump, and then I'm looking at Ye, and I'm looking at Trump, and Ye, and he's telling me. <laughs> Nick, you, uh, they say you're a white supremacist. Are you a white supremacist? No, not at all. Well, spend some time on that. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a Catholic, I'm, I'm Christian, and so I... He called... What? What? No, wait.
That can't be fucking true. I'm pretty fucking sure he said it himself. That he's the white supremacist. Like... Fucking hell. Believe that we I know that sounds white supremacist right there, but it's not. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, I believe that we're all children of God. And so I think that black, white, red, brown, whatever, we are all, we're all siblings red. in a certain sense because we're created by God. I do, though, believe that there are races. There are, there are black people. There are white people. There are Hispanics. Um, and, and these differences mean something to people. They mean things to each other. That doesn't mean that we can't get along. That doesn't mean... But the left's saying it's bad to even have a culture. There's yeah. Who do you think whiteness is the best? Are you fucking kidding me? Saying none of us can hey, be around this or around that. Right. They want to melt us all down. That's what globalization is. They want to globalize the government, the economy, and the population. They, they want a global government. They want to globalize the economy through free trade. With no culture. Exactly. And and the population through immigration. And they want to make it so dentist? that in 50, 100 years, there are nope. no distinct nations. There's no distinct peoples. There's So nobody can stand up to them. Right. Just a slave class, undifferentiated. That's what they want. This um, is the future president you're talking to right now. They. Is Nick your running mate? He's not old enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nick, how old are you? I'm 24. Oh, well, no, I'm maybe in a few cycles. And, and Trump I'm loved curly Nick. Way. He looked at me and said, where did you find this kid? He had no idea. Until, what's the guy that wrote the speech that you didn't like? Jason Miller. Did Jason Miller lied afterwards after they found out who you were. And what did Jason say in the press to start off? Because it, it, it started to be like a series of lie after lie. But like, yeah, make no mistake, Nick... Winters is a white supremacist. Self-avowed, I thought. The lie and fake. It wasn't a tweet. It was a truth social after truth social after truth social. So give them the rundown on that. Yeah, so initially, we didn't publish anything about the dinner. It was rumored that Ye went to dinner with Trump. Then it was rumored that I was at the dinner because I walked through the airport in Miami. Then there was a statement from Jason Miller, who spoke as a representative for Trump, and he said, well... Nick Fuentes was not at the dinner. And it was only at that point, which was a lie, it was only at that point when we began to respond. And Ye said, he can't say that. Nick was at the dinner. That was a lie. But I mean, I actually like the speeches that Jason Miller wrote. Maybe, I mean, he was just scared. Who, who was scared? Trump? No, I mean, I think Miller thinking it was a setup. But I'm, I mean, I think that's what they thought. They thought, oh, this is a setup. And I, and I, and I think that's where that fear but, came but, from. But okay, but people got to stop lying. Our... Leaders, our politicians have to stop being afraid and being so political, and we have to put Christ first. And if anything comes from this, like the best thing that could come from this is I'm the president of the United States in 2024. The worst thing that could come from this is our leaders are held to Christian values, not Zionist values. Now, uh, let's Fucking talk about hell. the difference I'm of for Trump's sake. Two socials. Yeah. yeah. So let me tell you something about Zionism, right? It's just the same shit that Christian Christianity has uh, become. It is the corruption of religion by capitalism, the use of religion to enforce um, a hierarchy upon people. Like that's what it is. That that's what it is. It's just it's just that. It's the same shit. Zionism and Christianity, especially Christianity in the West, is they're effectively the same thing. It's just an excuse for colonialism. Colonialism and white supremacy. That's what it is. Fucking hell. Put out three successive posts. There's three responses from Trump on True Social, and they just get more sort of erratic as the pressure grows. You know, the first one, he says, it was a very uneventful dinner. I did meet with Ye. The next post was, uh, I don't know who Nick Fuentes was, and it was <laughs> totally uneventful. The third one, he says, Ye, a very troubled man who happens to be black, came for badly needed advice. And so it just kept getting more and more sort of angry and erratic. And, and I think what Ye's getting at, and I don't want to put words in his mouth, but...
Trump is surrounded by handlers. He's surrounded by people like Jared Kushner and Jason Miller. He's got three campaign well, managers. Jared Kushner bailed because he got what he wanted out of Trump, right? What did, what did Jared do when Trump was in office? He got the Abraham Accords. Jared Kushner with his best friend, Bibi Netanyahu, at 666 Fifth Avenue. They brokered the Abraham Accords, which opened up investment from the Gulf states into Israel. What did Netan have to say about it exactly? Netanyahu loves it, of course, because this but is But let's how expand on that. Whoa. Wait, why was that, um, hold on a second, a couple of things got automated. Wait, so wait, what, 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 why was that? What's COG? Children book? Children book? Family film, family film, an accident prone dragon. What is the ZOG stand for? Ah, uh, huh. I see, yeah. Zionist occupied government, yeah. Like that's it. That's it. It's but it's it's but it's effectively the same as um like Christianity being used as an excuse for um for imperialism. It's just it's just an excuse for imperialism. Like it's nothing to do with Jewish people. It's just an excuse. Like do you think that Jewish people are like aren't being exploited in Israel? No, it's a couple. It's it's a, of course like that. It's a capitalist country. The workers are being exploited in the same way that they are being exploited here in the West. Like, they are part of the West. It's a, co it's a Western colonial endeavor. <sighs> it always has been. I love Jerry. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Ned. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. With the... No, keep going. My, my, my point is, is that it, it's fair, though, for Trump that it is a political attack to claim that he endorses or represents even the, the views they claim you hold that you don't hold. So clearly, you can see how the media is using you guys as an attack on Trump. They're using us to try to put this guy we've never heard of, DeSantis, uh, in office. Like, DeSantis is going to play by the book. The thing about Trump is this guy is one of the best presidents we have. He's top five presidents. He's right there with Ronald Reagan. And he was a warden grad. He's one of the best businessmen of all time. And the entire time he was the president, the Jewish media attacked him. They were mad because he was actually working for the country. And now they're doing everything, including this meeting, to try to, to say he's not allowed to meet with. This is Infowars. Who are you to say who the president can meet with, Netanyahu? Like, I'm, I'm not going to... The, the um, free... free it, for, what about the First Amendment, man? What about freedom of speech? The Holy Spirit fills me up, and the less sin I have, the less angry I get. You know, so you can't make me angry, but if I was... It's actually really, really easy to make you angry, Kanye. All you need to do is, like, disagree with him, and he'll just storm off your show. Which is why Alex Jones is trying so hard not to say anything. Of another version of Ye, the Kanye West that you guys Yeah, know, that's right, I Tim Pool. I would be angry at Tim Netton for even speaking on one of the best presidents, one of our best presidents of all times. Shut the, shut the bless up, Netton. Eh? The this bless. This is from Ye. Now you know who I am. Do you know who I am now, Netton Yahoo? You know who I am now, Jared Kushner? You know who I am, Josh Kushner? Wait, so who's Jared Kushner now? Oh, there's so many Americans that I don't care about now, their names. I just feel like I have to go, like, on an, and like, a, like, Kushner. Alright, uh, Jared Kushner is a, an American businessman and investor. So, private equity firm. Ah, uh, okay. Sovereign Wealth Fund. Spouse. Ivanka Trump. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Ivanka Trump? Who's Ivanka Trump? 
Oh, so that's, 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 that's... Jared Kushner is, uh, Donald Trump's son-in-law. Why the fuck? Okay, well, but why do people hate him? Is he, is it because he's Jewish? Is he Jewish? Is that why? Is this... Okay, the first step, uh... Pushed strongly for... Post-Trump. Oh, there only has to be one reason for these people. All right, cool. Let me tell you something about Softy Josh, right? Marshmallow Josh um, was at a dinner. I'm at Jared's house, Jared and Ivanka's house. And um, I didn't realize I at even, the dinner didn't even know that who Josh he Kushner was. had 10% of skims which was my ex-wife clothing line, which I have 5% of. And it's one of the reasons why even after the attack where Ari Emanuel had all of my deals destroyed, I was still worth $400 million, right? And still had $250 million of cash oh, available, okay. right? So, that makes sense. Um, Josh... So, so, yeah, so there's only, one, there, there's only one reason why, real reason why they hate him. Not because of his connections to Saudi oil money, not because of his, um, you know, neoliberal uh, pushes for neoliberal reforms in other countries and trade and all of that sort of thing, uh, American imperialism, blah blah blah. Not because he's a billionaire, which you know makes him inherit makes makes you know, like if you're a billionaire, then you have exploited enough people to become a billionaire. Um, don't really need to go into that so much, but um, yeah. 2.3 bill, the Saudis paid him to hush up the Khashoggi, uh, Khashoggi killing. I don't know much about that, but that sounds about right. Um, but yeah. Yep. Wait, what? Who's this? Oh, invitation to Orsinium. Look off! I say, what do you think about Jared working for me in 2024? And Josh looks at Jared and says, oh, I would kill him. And so then towards the end of the meeting, I'm leaving their apartment. They do it like a soft hug uh, because I think like Jared, as soft as Jared is, uh, he has to hug Josh extra soft. So, you know, he doesn't melt like toilet paper. And what I realized afterwards that Josh had 10% of a line that I only had 5% double where I, you know, Skims is an extension of Yeezy. It's an extension of my brand. Literally, I put the creative director from... So, oh, okay. Let, okay, there's not just one reason. All right, so there's one reason why Nick Fuentes hates Jared Kushner. It's because he's Jewish. Um, but the reason why Divorce, divorce Dad um, Supreme Yay... Um, hates Jared Kushner is because um, he has something to do with his uh, his ex-wife, who, who he assu probably assumes is uh, boning everyone that he knows, because it's the divorce dad energy. I'm Yeezy at Skims, because at first Skims was a lingerie line, and then it was Chris Jenner's idea to make it a shapewear line, and I said, I have the perfect person, let's take these elements of Yeezy, and let's put this here, and then Josh goes in and puts $150 million from some investment firm to then control something that my ex-wife was making for our children. No, I get a zero at this meeting and literally realizing, oh my god, I own this and ran this, this guy's double what I get. You didn't yeah. even know he was the owner. Yeah, and that's what I explained to Jared, I was on text with Jared, I said, what if I had 10% of oh, for a fuck's line sake. with Ivanka. Fuck's sake. That's why he's like, that's why this is, okay, it makes more sense now why he cares so much about Jared Kushner. It's because, it's because, um, like, because, because he did say, because, uh, Kushner did something that, um, that fucking Ye doesn't like. Therefore, he's going to just be anti-Semitic and do, and attack. Attack, attack, attack. Divorce dad rant. Let's go. And you didn't know, and you only had 5%. I'm sure you... But what if he learned you own 10% of 666 Park Avenue? He'd be pissed. It, or what if I had 10% of that 800, uh, how, how, how big was the deal that he did after he got out of... So all what you're saying is, we need reparations from Hollywood. <sighs> we need the Hollywood elite that have almost all the money. They need reparations to America. Wait, I want to talk about how... What? Jared did that first deal. <laughs> every time, every time, like Alex Jones is trying to get back to a fucking thing. 
Oh, love it. What is it? What is it? Your boy, uh, your boy Octo. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? What did I miss? Trying to send me over socialism. Yeah. Reparations. It's oh, it's not socialism. It's reparations. Get it? Cause, cause Kanye is black. Oh, uh, it's just code. It's just code shifting. It's just code switching. That's all it is. Uh, this is... With Ned and... <laughs> yeah, he... this is not the best timeline. This is the clown clown line. Got billions, and uh, this is something that. Give me some of that. Some of that tasty clip was covered in the Wall Street Journal. Jared Kushner brokered the Abraham Accords with Netanyahu, and before <laughs> Trump was even out of office. Yeah, so, so we're, go we're going. We're going from like Kanye's personal beef with Jared Kushner to like uh, to um, Fuentes's like white supremacist rants now, and 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 like they're 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 so insane. They're so like out there that um, Alex Jones is advocating for co for communism. F fucking amazing. Office, they were arranging for how Kushner could take a massive fee from. Okay, but separate from Kushner getting money, I don't like Kushner. He glows in the dark. He's creepy as hell. He, I don't, but I mean, he, gl that, he glows in the dark. It's a dark? good peace deal to get the Arabs and Jews to quit killing each other. I mean, I, uh, but don't, and, and I agree with you to some extent. Is Alex Jones tr trying to be the voice of reason? Alex Jones is trying to be the fucking voice of reason. This is what happens when, like, he gets cut off constantly from trying to go on his conspiratorial rants by divorced dad on the left and, like, and white supremacist on the right. It's just, like, Alex Jones has nothing else to do but try and be the voice of reason, and it's fucking wild. Holy but shit. I mean, actually, that's a pretty... I always... I said, that's something good Kushner did. I mean, I don't like Kushner, but... He I mean, did it for the money. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we got things done, yeah. And I would say- <laughs> I'm, to him. I'm saying, isn't it good to try to get Middle East peace? Ask, let's ask Nick. Yeah, Nick, go ahead. If you want Middle East peace, you have to go to Israel because Israel is the one who has been bombing Syria. Israel is the one that's- And they got 200 nuclear back. weapons, they ain't going nowhere. Exactly, and that's why they killed JFK and RFK was because of they were trying to get their WMD program off the ground. Operation Apollo, it was Jack Kennedy that wanted IAEA inspectors looking into it. No, that is probably one of the main, that's one of the reasons Kennedy got killed. That was what, little. What, what we need to say right now, and we're going to bring Ali on in a second, is my, so both of my parents were amazing. educators, right? And we're here as the educators. That's what's in our heart. When we get the information, we put ourselves at risk to give you the information. There's a lot of teachers, incredibly intelligent. I don't know. He just said that Jared Kushner um, um, glows in the dark. So I, I don't know what that means. There are people that have been canceled and kicked out of universities for not playing along with the system. So stop looking at us like celebrities, like we're trying to get media. We're using our position, putting our finances, putting our, our personal well-being at risk to say the truth out loud. And I was on the plane with Nick and I said, it feels like we're in Vietnam in the middle of the war with our backs to the wall, holding our guns and saying, you know, Nick, how did you get here? <laughs> Yay, how did you get here? Well, all the guns are going off and all the media is going off and say, this is InfoWars, right? So you got some info warriors on both sides of you and you fought for us. You've been fighting this battle for a long time, Alex. And we just got to salute you as a Christian and as American because you paved the way to make braver soldiers like us today. It's like Terminator Part 10 happening right now. Wow. All right. Well, we got to go to break. We're going to get Laura Loomer on. We're, we're going to get Ollie Alexander. I'm demanding come on. Yeah. One of the smartest guys on politics. And we're going to just continue. Owen Troyer is going to come on. We're going to continue on as long as you what? guys want to go. We'll we'll take breaks and stuff too, and and, and and get you know yay to eat something or whatever. Me and Nick got something he hasn't eaten yet, and we're just. I stay just, fasting. He just that's right. He won't eat. I'm trying to get him to eat. So I'm like I'm like an Italian. Manja manja. Uh, so we're gonna. What? I gotta watch. I gotta watch uh, my accounts because. Ma'am, these white supremacist dog whistles are going over my head. I don't. I've never even heard of half of this shit. They've been frozen by the Jewish uh, banks, so I, I need to watch. Oh my gosh. I think I've missed a couple as well. Let's just put it up to 90. To my mills. Well, CNN says why people are evil Nazis, so... I mean, I, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the... Yeah, Wait, what? I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. <laughs> <I think. laughs> that face! That face! 
just. I mean, I, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't, I don't like the word. Oh. <laughs> evil next to the Nazis. Oh. I think we need to look at. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Just because you don't like one group doesn't mean the other. But look, I fine. love. Yeah, I I missed that. I was focusing so hard on 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 Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones just just argued against racism. He's Yay has broken Alex Jones. This is absolutely amazing. Let's watch well, that again. Well, CNN says why people are evil Nazis. So I mean, I I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to. I don't like the word. Uh, yeah. Look at. <laughs> And then wait, listen to this. Oh my goodness. Just because you don't like one group doesn't mean the other. But look, look. Just because you don't like one group. Like fucking hell. Like he, he even Alex Jones is pushing back on Ye. Even Alex fucking Jones. I love Jewish people, <laughs> but I also love Nazis. <laughs> Fucking what the fuck, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I have to disagree with that. Hey, but listen, we're going to go to break. I'm, 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 the, I'm the crazy one here. We're all crazy. The whole world's crazy. And, and the whole power structure's coming down. This is absolutely lit. This is lit, 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 lit. Number one show in the world right now. Everybody's tuned in everywhere. Notice the code switching. Yay. Everybody, I appreciate you being here. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back and play that little my favorite promo with Ye. And then we're going to air the Trudeau clip and then go right back to Ye. Stay with us. All right. I'm going to take a quick break myself because I need to go to the loo. But, like, my gosh. But between Ye, like, saying that Nazis aren't evil and... and, and... <sighs> and Alex Jones getting so frustrated that, that his... his, 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 his the kayfabe is lost, and he's just like, yeah, racism is bad. And he's like, just because you don't like one group, huh? Like, it's just like, he's switching, like, Ye is turning Alex Jones into a lib. Turns out what, what Kanye West needed is someone, like, just saying the things out loud that... Al Do you know what I reckon it is? I reckon Alex Jones is okay with saying these things, right? Because he's not actually saying it. It's not just to stay under the radar. It's also justifying it in his own mind. You know what I mean? It's making him think that he's not so bad. Like, oh, from, the from the inside, it'd be like, oh, I'm not actually saying bad things, therefore I'm not actually saying them. You know, it's like uh, cognitive dissonance, but like having Ye there saying the quiet part out loud is actually like making Alex Jones rethink himself and the things he's said. Holy moly. I mean, he's going to go straight back to it like after Ye leaves, but like it's just interesting that that happens. But anyway, I'm going to cut to a quick break. Um, I'm logging out with this character. I'm going to start a new character. Dark Tide Calls. Oh, is that good? By the way, is 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 uh, Dark Tide any good? My friend wants to play that. Over oh, there. So. Super fun. I'm going to have to have a look at it then. Eh, everything is buggy these days. Alright, so don't go anywhere, or do. Either way, though, I will be right back after these short announcements. And uh, we're back. Quick pause from the content at the moment, because I just want to create that new character. Hmm. I can change the names and the appearance. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. 
Champion! Someone's on the roof. Alright, now, I just need to look something up quickly. Um, <clears throat> what are we looking at here? Trying to remember what it was. No, it's not it. Speedy G. So I basically just need the Jailbreaker set and the Vesture of Dalok Brai. Um, and I'll need to level it up. I mean, I'll have some time to do that stuff, but it'll, that'll take some farming to actually get. Unless... Um... <coughs> Pardon me. Tamriel Trade Center. I wonder. Um, what if I can figure that out? It's just. I'll show you what I'm doing at least. So you're not just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We'll get back to the content very shortly. I'm very sorry. Hi, Queen Bree Bree? Bribery? Bribery? Ah, bribery. What are you going to try and bribe me with? Hmm. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some stuff sorted. There we go. Bang. 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 Aww. Your cuteness. No. Very cute. Where are we? There we go. Cool. Back to it. Alright, so. I'm basically setting up a new character. But I won't be able to, like, react to content and do that at the same time. So I'm just going to do that quickly and then. I'm basically going to build the Speedy G. Hmm? Bang! Ha-ha! 
Um, max maximum speed. Ah, oh, I right, need to start from the start. Oh, thank you. Very nice of you to say so. Random monster set. how much that would be. <sighs> Can you, like, go away? Ah, that's annoying. It's got ads on the page anyway, you annoying people. Now I can't scroll either. That's fucking annoying. <sighs> Jailbreaker, what? No trade. So no one's selling them. I'm gonna have to grind for them. That's okay. That is okay. Skills. Can dish out some damage. Just skill bars to... So this is two-hander. Why two-hander? And a bow bar. Arrow barrage. So rally How do we disguise Dizzying swing Concealed weapon. I don't really want to do the do um two hander though. Yeah. Champion points. Yep. Important. Uh, passives. <sighs> Heavy weapons. Um, yeah, okay. I want to, I want, um, dual wielding. Ooh. Yeah, I will have to get maxed out stuff. But yeah, that makes sense. Max stamina. It doesn't tell me about the what race the players though. Uh, oh, there we go. Race. Food buffs. At the guild stores. Long thin. Tasty. Oh, that's pretty good. With melon sauce. Munderstone. The Steed. 
Rice. Passive crafting passage. Okay, this all makes sense. All right. Okay. I guess I'm going to start with the Ebonheart. Or should I have them all in the Daggerfall Conference? Nope, I'm going to have the um, Ebonheart pack. T packed. Packed. The Ebonheart packed. Class is going to be Nightblade. Oh yeah. Body. Thin. Height. Tiny. Tall. Tiny. Skin color. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. Painful. There we go. Can I have pink skin? Ugh. Blue is interesting. Green is interesting. Thin is very thin. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be muscular. Ooh, gold. Like a goldish color. So this it seems pretty sick. The scaly one looks cool. With the darker markings. She looks cool like that. Upper body, but I don't really care too much about um, that stuff. Face. Soft. Angular. Nyeh. Huh? Nyeh. Heroic. Yeah, that looks alright. Voice. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was sounds cool. <laughs> nah. Ooh. D? Yeah, voice H for me. H. Okay, 
Apparently, having a white face makes you aged. Adornment. I want to figure out... Oh, hairstyle. That's what the hairstyle is. Alright, let's figure out this hair. Alright, spines. 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 Whoa, spines. 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 Big spines. Spiny. Feathery. Feathers. Little spines. Little spines. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. Adornments. That looks pretty sick. Head markings. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Lost her left eye. Alright. I think that's I think we got a character now. I wish there was like a chest height though. Her her boobs look really weird. But apart from that, looking sick. She gonna be the best. Now, race-wise, resources giving bonuses to healing, staves, uh, disease and poison resistance, uh, swimming speed, uh, base health, magicka, and stamina. Resources gained from consuming potions. That's pretty sick. Champion gear. Pretty sweet. Not bad. All right. What? Oh, someone's already got the got this. Uh... How about this one? Yay! Runs in hexes. All right, cool. Now we're back. Let's come back. Everyone's left, but that's okay. 
Alright. We back. We back to doing it now. We up to an anti-Semitism counter no of way. 91. Thank the stars. There we go. Let's do it. I should have just skipped the tutorial, but that's okay. Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When you're ready, follow me. Oh wow. Let's begin. Yay is in studio. I'm Alex Jones, your host, Nick Fuentes, Ali Alexander, Owen Schroyer about to join us riding shotgun. Yay doesn't want to Ali wear an earpiece, so he's gonna call Laura Loomer. Yeah, so we're gonna put Laura Loomer on the way she was originally gonna be on earlier. Yay, you're hosting the show. Go ahead. Laura, can, can you guys hear Laura on the mic? Well, what they're doing is they're talking to her out there. I told them 45 minutes ago. Laura, I said, can tell we her, hear you on the mic? Tell her you're going to call her. They didn't do that because it's such a party. Everybody... I can hear you. <laughs> can you guys hear her? Oh, he's pissed. I love it. Laura, her. say something. She's this not going to Laura Lammer. Yeah, Laura, you're on the air. Go ahead. How's it going? That's you're on the air with Yay. Go ahead. He wants to do it over his speakerphone. Go ahead. Well, look, I just I just wanted to call in. You know, uh, I see that everybody on this stream has been canceled in some fashion. And, you know, I've also been canceled. And, you know, I have a unique perspective uh, because, uh, you know, I'm Jewish and I happen to be uh, one of the most banned and censored person uh, people in this country. And so, uh, you know, I just well, you're part of one of you're part of that group, but you personally are not one of the most, you know, banned and cancelled people like personally you're doing fine I wanted to talk about uh, cancel culture and uh you know the act of debanking and deplatforming uh from my perspective because uh you know i was really one of the first people that uh, experienced all of this cancel culture and uh i would just say that um you know i can sympathize uh with uh, anybody who's had uh, their voice silenced i don't think that uh, censorship is the answer, no matter how uh, much you disagree with another person or how offensive you may find their statements or their arguments to be. And what we need in this country is more free speech. Um, and I say that, um, you know, as a Jewish... More free speech? What does that even fucking mean? Like, what do you mean? What do you think free speech is? American woman watching this stream and, you know, uh, watching the plague of cancel culture that has really swept not just our country, but the entire world over these last few years. Um, and I will say that being Jewish has never uh, saved me from being canceled. It never uh, stopped the banks from shutting down my access to my bank account. Uh, being Jewish never... Uh, you know, prevented me from uh, becoming, like I said, the most banned woman in the world. So I just wanted to make it clear that, um, you know, while... I don't even know who you were before, like, last Friday, honey. Like, who... Like, but... You know, there's no okay. disputing the fact that groups like the ADL and APAC and, uh, you know, powerful, um, you know, left-wing Jewish individuals, and in some cases, right-wing Jewish individuals themselves are advocating for cancel culture. 
Um, there are Jews themselves who have also been canceled. Yeah, you shouldn't be penalized for what other people have done. I, Martin Luther King said that, and I agree with it. So, yeah, you called yourself more like Martin Luther King the other day than Malcolm X. I tend to agree with that. I like Malcolm X. I've read his writings, listened to him, incredibly smart intellectual. He was downtrodden. He was telling people to stand up. He was an amazing revolutionary for his time, an amazing man. But I think Martin Luther King was more powerful and even Malcolm came around to his worldview of thinking. So my issue is, it's the same thing we're talking about here, is that is that you know Laura Loomer has been censored, Laura Loomer has been attacked, and Israel has the most draconian COVID shots against their population of any group. So I'm saying, why aren't they exempt? Because there's a criminal group posing as them. Christ talked about this. That is, that is trying to manipulate and pose as the leadership of every group. There's groups that claim they lead the black folks that aren't caring about blacks. There's gr groups that claim they care about white people that aren't really caring. There's groups that claim they're Jewish that don't. I, I, what scripture is he talking about? Like, Christ talked about this? Like, when? Where? What? what when? How? Are we talking about uh, glowing skin Jesus? Glowing, glowing skin, um, Laura Luma, uh, J Justin, Justin, um, fucking whatever his name is. I think that's really what we're talking about. Do you disagree? I agree. And as you, as I talk about, I think about it, it's like, I gotta say, I love the Zionist. I love the people that, that blocked my bank account because God runs the world and uses everyone. There's a power structure under God that starts with the thousand year old families, such as the Medici's. Then it goes to the Vatican, which is in no. bloodline to Peter, not Paul. Uh, then it goes Ugh. to the financial groups, BlackRock, Vanguard, and then to the governments where we can go into Putin territory. And then it goes to Hollywood, the Rahm Emanuel. That is the first smoke screen to get past. And we're just breaking down those smoke screens. Hey, Ari, how you doing, Ari? Hey, I will. I, I want to jump in really quick and I will say... <laughs> Yeah, Laura, you're on the air. Uh, oh, go ahead. The blacklisting of, uh, you know, people like Ye, people like Alex Jones, people like Nick Fuentes, people like myself. You know, everybody watching should understand we're living in a dangerous time now where people are being shut down and having their money frozen okay imagine not being able to access your bank account because somebody in a boardroom decides that they don't agree with what you're saying and so like well they they decided that based on like money they they thought yeah we're going to lose money from this we're going to like break this contract because it is much go going to be much worse for us if we don't because he's literally saying, like, Nazi shit, and he's literally going out and saying that he likes Hitler. That's not cancel culture, that's just a bad investment. Uh, you know, for people who are critical, uh, you know, of Yay, Nick, Alex, myself, or whoever, right? Uh, just just think of how fast the tables could turn. And I think this is what you've been talking about for years, Alex. You've been warning people about what's coming for years. And now people want to act like, oh, well, how did we get to this point? Censorship is the reason why we've got to this point. OK, so, you know, these things wouldn't be happening if people weren't being censored. Well, sure. Laura, can I ask you this question? Because, you know, you're a, you're a smart, uh, you know, successful pro-America Jewish lady that, that you know, it's an American that lives in Florida. From my experience studying what goes on politics, aren't Jews like everybody else, like left wing, right wing and different factions fighting with each other and everybody else like any other group? I mean, I understand there's powerful groups in Hollywood and all these mafias, but it's like we don't blame Italians for the Italian mafia. And when I criticize the Jewish mafia, which is one of the most powerful in the world, which I don't like, I don't dislike them because they have to be Jewish, I have them because they, they're, they're a mafia. That's really how I think we destigmatize it, just say no to the mafia that is the ADL in Hollywood. Or do you disagree with that or agree? Or you want to say something? No, I, this is look, amazing. within any group. But it's interesting observing your responses. The left defends the banks and big corporations. So the left is the left, left is the left to be extremism. Armed with your opinions. Okay. I mean, like, nice copy pasta, I guess?
But right, I don't think it's I don't think that you can really generalize any group. I think that when you look at the demographics of Jews in America, over 73 percent of Jews vote Democrat. And so when you see a lot of, uh, you know, people making decisions who happen to be uh, Jewish, it's coming from a left wing perspective. But I'm a nationalist. You know, I'm a nationalist and I'm Jewish and I've been a very strong supporter of President Trump. And that's the question. Why were they so scared of you? Because you've been as much banned as me or even more. I mean, they have come after you i'm pretty sure that she got banned for um saying what was it um she was she was saying awful things about uh ilan omar i believe oh uh not a card for this value to see what the other side thinks uh and seems to be de devoid of critical thinking okay uh i mean like it's it's great that you think that but um you're just like projecting your own opinions and not actually talking about anything that i've said in fact, I haven't really said much since you've been here, so, like, that's why I assume it's a copy pasta because you're literally just saying your own thoughts and not actually interacting with anything that's being said. <laughs> Interesting that you accuse me of not having critical thinking skills when you don't actually demonstrate any ability to critically analyze anything that I can say. Uh, do I dispute that Jew, 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 Jewish people are overrepresented in certain industries of USA? Um, I don't care. Do you dispute that uh, white people are overrepresented in almost every industry in the USA? Oh, it's not a valid response to you. It might not be a valid response to you, but like, I I, I still. Don't care. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, again, you're just projecting your own opinions on me armed with my opinions. Why do they what why are they scared of Laura Loomer? Because I'm a free speech absolutist, and uh, regardless of what somebody may may say, even whatever they may say about Jews or whatever they may well, have she's to say not about a Israel free Judaism, speech in, in like to... absolutist at all. She's li like, what happened to people talking out, be using their free speech to uh, cancel people? Yeah? You, you, you're telling me that uh, I don't have the free speech to call for your, um, call for the silencing of you? I'm not, hey, Trex, I'm just, I, that's, that's just a quote. I'm just quoting. Is projecting it's boring, do I have anything else? You're the one who's trying to attack me, and you got nothing advocate for anybody to be silenced anybody to be banned or anybody to have their account a lot of bad or their money <laughs> frozen simply because of their viewpoints this is america and we need to promote free speech absolutism and we need our politicians to start promoting free speech absolutism and this is what i ran when i ran for congress twice and, and none of these people want free speech want actual free speech at the end of the day like what they want is control over speech <sighs> Florida, the first time in Trump's home district, which was actually the most Jewish district in the country, and then most recently in District 11. You know, I ran on a campaign of free speech. Absolutely. No, I know you do. So, what about a, what about a First Amendment or for a Bill of Rights party? Well, you know, that could transcend party lines. What about a free speech pro to self defense, a First Amendment, Second Amendment party? I mean, how do we fix this, Yay? Uh, we fix this with the word of Christ, the first book of Moses called the Genesis. Word of Christ. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I love, I love the cope. I love the cope in the chat right now, though. It's amazing, like uh, because I don't because I, you you just jump into my chat and start talking about something completely like beside the point of what I'm reacting to right now. You think that I owe you. Uh, an argument i owe you anything other than i don't care i don't care how many jewish people um are in uh, have anything to do with um banks or otherwise or hollywood i don't care because it is not relevant it doesn't matter because being jewish does not make you inherently good or bad 
And that's the argument. There. That's why I don't care. You're telling me who you are by asking that question. I, I know who you are. Cope in chat. You discussing the fact that the streamer is bad faith. Ooh, what's going on here? Hmm? Uh, you're, you're just, you're, because you don't, I call it cope because you literally don't, like, have anything to actually offer the conversation. So you just talk between yourselves and cope in the chat. So that's it. Projection cope. This is the left's argument because, <laughs> trite and boring. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. Oh, you're not here to make anyone feel, to try to own you per se, to make correct arguments. You haven't said any arguments here at all. You asked me a question, I answered it, and you called it bad faith because I didn't answer it in exactly this, the right way that you wanted me to. <clears throat> and because I didn't, and you're annoyed, you're coping in chat. I like it. It's hilarious. Continue making the algorithm work in my favor. <laughs> The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the spirit of God was- You don't know what the statements, whether the statements are correct or not, because you aren't a- you're a chatter. You have no way to prove anything, you're just a voice on the internet. That's what's hilarious, you think you're more important than you are. Uh, so you've yet to disagree with us on a factual- well, you're calling- you're saying us, um, and you're talking about things that I don't care about. I'm I'm reacting to this right now. I guess I'm I guess you're distract distracting me from the, from what I'm wanting to do anyway. <sighs> I I had fun, funny hair or married is kind of pointless, like somebody criticizing. No, you're talking. That's that's called an ad hominem. I haven't used an ad hominem, honey. Do you not know what a straw man or an ad hominem is? Things I don't care about equals all the L's you took in this conversation. At least you're honest about it. Hovering over the face of the waters. That's where we start. And they know that. That's why Prometheus shows that. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Definitely uh, impartial. You, 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 closing comments or yay? I want to move on to Laura, Ollie and thank folks. you very much for calling and talk later. Thanks a lot. All right. All so right, good. Yeah. That's that's uh, good. Uh, great. Nick, you want, Nick, you, yeah, see you in Florida. You want to say something before we go to Ollie, Alexander, and Owen? Yeah, I want to jump in and say that um, I uh, I agree. I think, though, that it's not so much about the Bill of Rights. I think it's really more about Christianity. I think that what America needs is a Christian party. Oh, I agree. Politically, it's about our freedoms. But you're right. Christ is first. Right. And wait, you want freedom of speech, but then you want to impose religion on people. Can you see, like, why that's a con contradiction? Why do you need Christianity anyway? Christianity doesn't Christianity doesn't give people rights. Like rights are things that we agree on between ourselves. That these are the things that we fight for together. They're not got they're not god given because you can't prove that god exists. Just keep your beliefs to yourself and keep politics to politics and reality. You can't use Christianity to come up with a a, a um informed view of the world you can use it as a baseline to start from but you need to be able to compare that to like actual reality at the end of the day and if you don't do that then that's just fucking stupid and it gets to the nature of judaism which is the fact that Jews do not believe that Christ was the son of God. And in fact, they're the only group that hate Jesus. Muslims see Jesus. What is he doing there? What, what the fuck is he doing there with the, with the jar? Hmm? AJ? Jesus as a prophet. Buddhists, Hindus see Jesus as a spiritual figure. Jews write in their Talmud that Christ is burning in hell. They, they don't like the cross. Well, they, I think that's because he's kind of was taking over the thing. So at the end of the day, we worship a Jew or we say he's not really a Jew. It's not the same thing, though, because the kind of Judaism that we have now is not of the Old Testament. It's of the rabbinical oral tradition. So these people are worshiping. This is all beside the point. It's just really interesting how, like, they bring up, they, they always bring up this, like, these old religions to, and then trace it through to somehow being relevant to today. Move forward, guys. Create something new.
They're, they're not following the Old Testament. They're following the Zohar and the Talmud and all that. That's right. Exactly. So, so I, I well, I mean, we that. people should read that for themselves. What about Holly Selassie? Because this is what happened to Kyrie Irving, and it made me really I don't mad. Know. I don't know. If God is so, if, if the Christian God is so weak that it can't handle a um, group of people uh, disagreeing with uh, the the word of God as is written in the Bible, then like fucking hell, like what a weak ass fucking God. And because when I was a kid growing up reading comic books and stuff, I, was trying, I, I could read really early. When I was like five, I could read like a 10 year old. Nick Fuentes is very good at um, a certain kind of Jewish history. Like, these people are always... Very, it's like uh, Roma Boos, um, who focus on a idealized version of the past rather than looking at, you know, uh, the the uh, institutionalized pedophilia within the Spartan culture, um, like, a lot of the um, misogynistic uh, qualities of um, uh, relationships in those times, a lot of the other stuff which is, like, historical. It's like looking at some things... And then coming up with a uh, wait, do you not know about that? Wait, you don't know about the Spartan institutionalized ped pedophilia? Are, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. I'm not joking. Like quite literally. Like what would happen? What would happen is when you were like I don't know. I uh, think ten. Um, you were given to like a 20 year old or a 30 year old or whatever and um, they, they would basically rape you until you got older and then you would get your own like that 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 was that was that that's link call us the internet that's fucking history fuentes is more articulate than every left-wing political commentator why is that lack of brain sales on my side what are you talking about my side you think that you think that politics is some sort of team sport? Yeah, yeah, like it's institutionalized pedophilia. Like, look at it. Yeah, no, it's 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 the truth. But like, they. My point isn't to go into that. What they do is they look at certain points in history and they say, "That's it. That's where things went wrong." You know, it's just like um, I, I've heard I've heard these fascists before talk about how Rome w fell when uh, Jewish people in literally I've heard this from fucking Nazis talking about how the cr the Catholic Church was created by Jewish people to um, cause the fall of the Roman Empire. It, these people are unhinged. And they'll talk about the fall of the Roman Empire as a, as a cause of Christianity. And then you'll be like, well, the fall of the Roman Empire took like a hundred years and you're picking one point within those hundred years. But a great boy love was mostly in the States between men and like young boys and now it's a uh, great example of uh, homosexuality 2,000 years ago. Yeah, it was pedo ship. Um, but yeah, like... I, I can always tell with these people is that we, people want an idealized version of history. Well, you lost so much civilization. Um, well, yeah, that's how history works. Uh, you thought the left supports Nazis. You again, like armed with my opinions, like it's pointless, like engaging with you because you haven't actually listened to anything I've said. You don't know anything about what I believe. All you've done is make claims about my beliefs and expect me to respond to that and then call me out for being bad faith when like I, I i just don't care about what your opinions are of me why not just ask me questions about what i think you know like a critical third person the left supports whether whatever cnn <sighs> fucking americans y'all know that we don't listen we don't get cnn here right <laughs> See, I, I, I'm Australian. I don't live in your country. Fucking hell. And you're fucking hilarious. We, we, we don't, we don't watch CNN here, honey. <laughs> we don't have that here. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. It's funny, you people. The left is not a real political side. The sheep listening to establishment TV. Like, wait, you listen, you watch TV? Hmm? Oh, armed with my opinions, can't engage with me, so you have to go to your butt buddy. Alright, cool. Let's continue with this anyway. This is hilarious. We did, we were starting to have an interesting conversation before, but uh, it's a bit derailed now. Because you're all, you're both just jerking yourself off in the comments. It's amazing to watch. Well, when I was 10, I could read like a college student. And so I, I put down comic books when I was about eight, because my mom had all these history books. 
and with some of them were picture history books, but I started reading those. And it's like a fact that Solomon married a bunch of black women. It's a fact that Ethiopia was Jewish. It's a fact that North Africa was Jewish. It's a fact that that went on. And then Kyrie Irving puts out a video explaining that a bunch of North African blacks are uh, intermarried and part Jewish. And Israel lets a bunch of blacks in because they can prove. Ah, oh, I love this conspiracy theory. Already debunked, though. It's an old one. The whole uh, black people being the real Jewish people. Amazing. This fucking amazing. Uh. Okay. Well, Trex, you can you can you can have that opinion, um, or you can like look at the debates that I've been a part of. That's up to you. Um, but yeah, you you you're, you you both keep on jerking yourself off in the comments. Um, without actually attempting to debate me in any like way you need to actually come up with a premise i am a guard dog doesn't mean you don't have an owner okay okay cool what anti-establishment opinion do you have maybe you're assuming too much so let's hear one i already told you that you're assuming too much because you're not listening like i'm I'm reacting to Alex Jones right now, and you're just going on about how the left only looks, watches TV. I haven't watched TV in about, in over a decade, my dude. One anti-establishment opinion you have. Can you read the description of my channel? My gosh. Prove that their lineage, their names are Jewish names. So how is it anti-Semitic and how does the ADL say it's anti-Semitic for black people who are related directly to King Solomon and King David, the line of Judah, which Haile Selassie was the leader of, of Ethiopia. That's where this whole movement comes from. To act like they don't know this, I'm not blaming Jews for this. I'm blaming the leftist ADL. To deny black Jews their heritage is a historic fraud. It's, it's not a, a historic fraud. That's, a, that's, a, that's an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, which has always, already been debunked by people smarter than me. Historic fact! It's on Wikipedia! Why it's does Kanye debunked. have that silly mask on? Uh, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be a, um, uh, a statement on the uh, commodification of him as a person, but like, it, it kind of falls to the wayside because he's wearing a jacket full of adver advertising on him. It, it's really ironic and also like goes out like it's pointless it's kind of like um the reaction to people throwing i don't know like soup on the on famous paintings most people don't really understand like the the reason why they're doing that so all they see is just someone annoying doing stuff for protests so i don't know if it it, it doesn't really work yay is is very unwell and people are taking advantage of his uh, mental uh, issues as he and basically trying to suck him dry of all the content and money they can make out of him as long as he continues to make money for someone he will still be given a platform to say whatever the fuck he wants <laughs> It's true, but it's not just the leftists, it's the right-wing ones too, you know, because in Israel, Ye was just showing me a clip the other day where they are racist towards the Sudanese or Ethiopian black Jews. I mean, like, he, he, he's, 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 cur he's currently you know, having a manic episode of um, bipolar disorder without medication or support. Like, he's, he's, that, that's, um... Yeah, yeah, the Fuentes guy is fucking is fucking hilarious, but like, I I just love how he claimed that he's not a white supremacist in this video, but like he's claimed that he's like a fascist, he's a self-avowed fascist, like, but that that's why Fuentes dog whistles and they love love it when a black person comes up and says the quiet part out loud. Um, but it's hilarious watching Alex Jones just look uncomfortable throughout this one. Yeah, I'm not surprised, harmed with my opinions. You can be fascist and not white supremacist. Fascism is a vague term. It's actually not vague. It's that they're, they're, they're 
I mean, I understand if you don't understand what classifies someone as a fascist or fascism as it works throughout society, um, but I would recommend maybe looking up Umberto's Echo, Umberto Echo's uh, 14, um, uh, guide, 14 guidelines, I guess. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but um, yeah, that's because I suck. Um, but yeah, there, there, there are classifications for these things. Just because you don't know what they are doesn't mean that they're, it's a vague term. Uh, it is vague even leftist intellectuals who should be cuckoo for Cocoa Pops in defending the leftist conception of a fascism admit that a fascism is extremely hard to define. Okay, so because some leftists don't understand how to classify fascism, that means that uh, fascism is hard to de de define. Just means you work out a lot or are not a soy boy. Okay. Cool. Um, well, I just told you where you could find the definition, which is quite easy to under, like a, a simplified version of how to define fascism. But cool, you can completely ignore that, I guess. <laughs> Keep jerking yourself off in the comments. That immigrate into Israel, they kick them out. There's quotas. Well, I mean, Israel's even mean to the Hasidic Jews now. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They're waging war. Right. So, so, and I, I agree with you. And what they've done to Kyrie Irving is just to say. Hey, Zelenko, beautiful person, wonderful guy. Mm. He'll tell you. He goes, yeah, that's it, it, what runs Israel's evil, and so is your groups. Ben Shapiro I mean, just mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. Back to you, Nick. <laughs> so, so, but what, what about that issue? I'm sure you know about Hiram Selassie and, 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 and Kyrie Irving. Your, your, your take on Kyrie. That's my brother. And I love the fact that just like now, you, it felt like you were in this battle by yourself, but now you got two warriors alongside of you, like gargoyles at the top of the buildings in New York, ready to fight for Christ. And when Kyrie put up that information, they always want to write me off and say, yay, it's just so crazy, so crazy, so crazy. I'm pretty sure Kyrie Irving has like walked back his opinions on pretty much everything he ever said. Like Kyrie Irving like said that the earth was flat and then apologized for it. I, I, he's a dumbass. He's just dumb. But like, it, uh, yeah. Crazy. And then Kyrie was like, okay, here goes some information right here. Information is the unlock. There's five elements that the 1% the elites use to control the 99% which are the masses. Those elements are water. The good thing that Kanye and Fuentes did was probably doom Trump's candidacy for president. Even we did believe Trump that he didn't know who Fuentes was it uh, shows Trump's horrible judgment lack of attention to detail. Yeah. Like, the fact, like, earlier on in this interview, they said it, like, he didn't even know who, um, Nick Fuentes was, and didn't even realize what, didn't, didn't seem to even realize what the actual interview was, uh, for, at that stage. That's the, that's the funniest thing, like, he, the, the, he found out mid-interview and he changed his fucking tune real quick. It's kind of, it's kind of hilarious. He got fucked over. I mean, like, I have heard that the, um... Most probably you saw like Trump certainly gone too far in time for Trump to disappear. I, I think I think that's been the feeling for a while, uh, what I've been hearing from America. Um But yeah. Um uh, just ju just just he's just so irrelevant now. And like even if he was going to return to Twitter and start to gain a following again, like Twitter's so fucked now that uh, nobody really cares what goes on on that site. Everyone's abandoning. Everyone's abandoning it really right now. Like my fucking, it's a it's a fucking ghost town. Um, my fate. It's hilarious. Oh yeah. Food, shelter, medicine, education. Which one of those five elements are the most important? Education. Because with the knowledge, you can go get water, you can go get food, you can get shelter, and you can get medication. They don't want to. Yeah, but you can't do any of those things without cooperation. So, education and cooperation are probably the two most important things to our survival as a human species. But yeah, what else? Independence. I agree. And. Kyrie okay, you think that you think that Trump improved your lives and the lives of people of color? Um, well, I don't, I, I don't think that Trump really did anything um, out of the usual for America. From the outside, America's just the same as ever, a fucking laughing stock.
That's why it's so fun to make content on it. And then also, you know, for me, Ky- well, Kyrie, I love Kyrie. He he did what his job was. They had the Hebrew Israelites in front of the game. And now the high schools, I always think about the high schools. I always think about the future, the grammar schools, the high schools. These are the... Was that because of Trump or because of external factors? Because oftentimes it usually comes down to uh, geopolitics rather than who is president at the time. When it comes down to when it comes down to the difference between the Democrats and the Republicans, like um, generally physically, they tend tend to be pretty fucking bipartisan. It's just on um, like uh, I don't know token social issues that they differ on, and even then, it's just a ratchet. Yeah, it talks through like true other true bipolars and I know who talk incessantly and written never reach to an understandable point. Yeah, but I do that too all the time. But that's more I attribute that more to my ADHD than anything else. But that is a mental uh, disability which does uh, affect similar areas of the brain. It's really interesting the intersection of um, uh, mental disability with um, like different characteristics and that sort of thing. Because you're looking at uh, similar parts of the brain that um, that that cause these uh, issues. We still don't know, um, you know, like exactly um, how it serves to cause these issues, but we do know that where it originates and what parts of the brain it affects in uh, development. Really fascinating people that are going to change our lives. So the high schools are asking questions. People are running around saying, oh, yay's racist. What is the term racism was created in, I think, uh, the, 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 the construct of racism was created. The communist Russians. Yeah. And it's what? like the whole woke Russians? culture, the idea. Of- Wait, what? 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 That was like, it was created by Russians. What? What did Alex say? It's created. And I think uh, the, 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 the construct of racism was created. The communist Russians. Yeah. Common is racist? Russians? I think uh, the, 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 the construct of racism was created. The communist Russians. Yeah. And it's like. Commun- oh, communist Russians. Um, yeah, no, no. Uh, the com- concept of race was uh, created by. Um, uh the english church back during um the colonization of i believe africa um to get around the idea that too many people were converting to christianity and they then needed a new way to um basically uh um justify um the disenfranchisement disenfranchisement um of uh, certain people basically, because up until that point, um, it had been like, you can take whatever the fuck you wanted from people who refused to uh, convert to Christianity. Um, uh, but then too many people were in these countries were becoming Christian, so you couldn't, couldn't then take their land, uh, technically. So, um, like, in, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about lawfully here. Um, so then they moved to um, considering race... Um, instead of uh instead of um religion it's 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 basically just just another um relic of white supremacy which still um exists to this day the whole woke culture the idea of the white man did this the jewish guy did this now i'm saying specifically the bankers i think my misstep in the tweet was to pinpoint a people as a point as opposed to pinpointing the devil and the effect that the devil used to have that but more than that it was my disobedience to god i do want to point out that the idea that uh, jewish people and uh, christians as well um worshiping the devil was made up by david ike uh, when he came up with his concept of gnosticism um yeah it's an anti-semitic conspiracy theory that forced me into the whale's stomach as I am right now. But it's only my obedience to God that's going to bring me out of the whale's stomach. Well, let's elaborate. How has he been obedient to God? I, I really want to understand what his obedience to God has been like. He hasn't uh, been a good uh, husband, um, as the Bible has laid out. He ha- hasn't really been a good person. 
um, has consistently used the Lord's name in vain um, several times throughout his musical career. Um, this is like, yeah, his obedience to God is whatever he thinks it is. I, I think I think that is probably true, but that's not just true of um, of Kanye West. That's kind of like how. I guess American Christianity tends to work. People tend to just think, oh yeah, like Christian, basically treating Christianity as um, just some sort of like, I'm right because I'm Christian, so instead of like really thinking about how that stuff works, I guess. I don't know. Uh, also, welcome back, your boy Octo. Why are we? We're still paused. Can't uh, seem to resume. What's going on? This is InfoWars, right? Uh, so you got some Info Warriors on both sides of you, and you fought for us. You've been fighting this battle with me. He said, I empowered you. God's one of his favorite angels, one of the most Ky well, Kyrie, I love Kyrie. He he did what God's one of his favorite angels, one of the most powerful angels. The most powerful. Yeah. Satan. That's what I like. The most powerful angel. Satan. And, and he brought angels with him. So, so now we're talking about uh, Dante's Inferno and uh, writings outside of the Bible. <laughs> Things that don't have anything to do with the Bible. I'm fairly sure. Could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure that um, the idea of uh, the Lucifer as, you know, the most powerful angel, I just can't remember where that came from, but I don't think it was in the Bible originally when he left heaven, right? How many angels Again, did Satan feel bring free to correct 33% of them. So he brought billions of angels with him. So angels, I mean, uh, <laughs> Satan has 33% of God's warriors with him working for Satan. But God runs the world. And it's Satan that that gets inside of the Zionists and makes them do evil things. But uh, uh, these are these are stories because I'm, I'm a baby Christian, right? But I heard that you know, God loves me so much. He loves me so much, right? Then I go to drink champs and I'm drinking. And the Bible says, king don't drink, right? I know it's not Milo. I know I'm not saying it in correct, perfect English, but the Bible says, king don't drink. And I'm drinking and I'm smoking and, I, and I'm using my ego because I'm tired of, I'm tired of these like fed, uh, you're like, I'm lit, I'm I, lit. Let, let me say, I'm tired of these fed celebrities trying to pick Dude, Alex Jones just learned that word today. For me, thinking that they gangster. We're not in high school, Meek Mills. We're not in high school, Puff Daddy. We're not, and everyone thinks that they're so much more gangster, like they got me in some way. Ain't none of y'all more gangster than God, and God got me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that. Oh, no. Everybody yeah. pose and act tough. It's nothing. If, if you talk about rebel, black sheep, yeah. I mean, you're definitely it, buddy. Yeah, y'all not, not tough to me. But I'm drinking, and then I start saying stuff that doesn't please God, right? It wasn't the Zionists. It wasn't the banks. It's God set me back. But the fact that. So, basically, like, it's not his fault that he made shitty choices. It's God's punishment because he like it's just it's just basically just making up stories to deal with um the frustrations and guilt of doing shitty things. The fact that I still had four hundred million and Forbes couldn't get around it. It showed God loves me, but he just had to he had to set me back a what little bit. Well, it's Forbes a Jobian proverb. You're going through a yeah. Jobian trial. Yeah, because since I narcissism? I don't think that's narcissism. No, nah, narcissism is an actual disorder. Like this is just like someone who can't fucking deal with he he is divorced dad. He is the divorced dad, like Billionaire or millionaire, the di divorced dad millionaire, basically. Seriously, why are all like rich people seem to act like divorced dads? Like every time, so like if someone if someone's Jewish and they cross you as a as a millionaire, um, 
then suddenly it's just anti-Semitism is is the way to go. It physically changes your brain. Well, I suppose if you like shove it in hard enough, it would. I lost my wife, right? Since I lost my family and I was no longer the priest right in the middle of that home. Fucking hell, you would believe in a god who would like ruin your life and take your family away from you? Like, fuck that. Sounds like a shitty god to me. You should believe in my god instead. He's much cooler and can beat the shit out of your god. Prove it. And Pro I didn't prove have me to wrong. say so over the content that my kids watch and what they and what they wore and where they went to school and how we went to church and what they ate. I was frustrated and I let the devil come and get me. I let the devil pull me in. Next thing you know, I'm at I'm at. And then, and then the devil made me. The devil made me say those things. The devil made me do those things. Fuck you. Take responsibility for your own actions, you dumbass. New Year's Eve parties having threesomes. I'm like God was so mad at me Based. he said i empowered you i gave you every skill set you're like moses you saved caesar's life in battle twice you know it, you might stutter you might, might not be the best communicator but you're a leader yay and you're down there you're not representing me you're drinking you're having sex and you know what and and god he he waited on me he let me go you know eight months into the year but it wasn't until i bragged about serving Satan with the actions that God said, I got to set you back now and set you straight. And then so, um, so, um, so, um, 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 Lil Nas X, um, still making money, man. Um, um, these, um, um, Adrenochrome drinking Democrat millionaires and billionaires still got their families and still got their money, man. So, uh, what's the cause of, of all this, then? Did the devil um, t make you say bad things and then God took away everything? Or was it Jewish people? You, you're not making any sense right now. And so we're moving my school, we're moving the Donda Theology Engineering University into a church. And we were there talking with the pastor. And then a oh, homeless yeah, I forgot gentleman about that. He's got his own cult. and was talking to us. And I said, is this a plant? I don't know, but this was the greatest theologist that I've met. And I had him come to a Bible study. Um, we, were, we were working on the, the, the walk to the house. I don't like... How the fuck does he know what a good, um, um, a good theologist is? How the hell does he know that? Like, yeah, no, pretty sure that it shut down. But like, how does what? How the fuck does he know? Like, he's like, oh, this is the best theologist I've ever met. But like, he doesn't know anything about Christianity. He's like admitted that he's a baby Christian and doesn't really know what he's talking about. Like, yeah, dude, dude, how do you know that this is a good theologist? You like him. Oh, I forgot. That's just, you know, God leading you. Because at the end of the day, to to, to, to Christians like um, Kanye and like in America in general, everything that good ha hap that happens to you is because of God. Everything bad that happens to you or bad that happens because of your actions is because of the devil. And you have absolutely no agency of the decisions you make in your life. Mm. It's a way to come up with a solution to the cognitive dissonance that you receive from thinking about the difference between um, how much agency you have in your life, or lack thereof, um, versus how much um, is determined in your life, which is most in fact like there is i'm not saying that free will isn't real i'm saying that free will can 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 only be studied through a theological lens it can't actually be studied as a um, materialistic function like you can only study things that can be measured and unfortunately uh, you can't measure free freedom of will
so it's pointless to bring it up in a discussion about actually um actual like how to run a society it's an interesting theological discussion definitely and uh, i think that we should have those discussions but we shouldn't bring those into a political framework because at the end of the day it comes down to opinion and not fact I like to call it a campaign we're working to the walk to hey, hold on this is a hard and this is why christianity needs to stay far away from politics Unless you can be, like, anti, anti-fundamentalist anti about it and challenge your beliefs with material analysis. If you're not able to do that, then, yeah, Christianity, stay the fuck away from my politics. I'm a Christian, but, yeah, no. Nah, separation of church and state, best thing that ever happened. Break at the end of the hour, stations rejoin us. I skipped the other break. We got to have this. We're back in two minutes. We got to okay. do this hard break. And I asked, do you want to put a website out where people can actually hear what you have to say? Or? I want you to remind me what I'm saying so I can give this explanation. No, no. The you told me on the phone the story. The, 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 no, um... I need to tell the people, though. No, you will. <laughs> no, you will. No, we're going to a break. We're going to a break. Yay. We're going to a break. Let me go to a break. I'm going to remember. It, it, it's the amazing homeless guy comes in. Yeah, and he gives you this incredible I, word. All right, I, I right. don't care about the website. I care about Jesus Christ and people knowing that. I get it, but they also the got to know where to actually find what you're actually saying. No, I'm just... only place to find it is in the Bible. My, web, my website sake. is the Bible. Alex is trying so fucking hard. Oh my gosh. Nick, where, where do people find what you're doing? Cozy.tv slash Nick. Oh, I just want to rec re remind everyone here of the awful, awful fucking man that this guy is. Like, 100%, this guy is a fucking ghoul. Um, he benefited from he benefited from um, a conspiracy theory uh, about um, a about uh, Sandy Hook um, being a false flag attacked and caused a man to commit suicide after being harassed constantly about his dead son who was murdered in a school shooting. Alex Jones financially benefited from this. He is an absolute ghoul and moron and you shouldn't feel fucking sorry for him. Yeah. Alex Jones is unwell. Just like yeah, Kanye. But they did the things that they did and they keep doing the things that they do. The real issue here though are the people that are giving them platforms and profiting from this because make no mistake there are people who are profiting way more from kanye's fall or from yay's fall um and from um alex jones continual ghoulish uh conspiracy theories which affect real people's lives so yeah it's ha 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 for now that uh, I look at how uncomfortable Alex Jones is is looking, but I, I don't want you to like start actually feeling sorry for the guy because the guy is like a fucking awful human being. He's bad, and he should and he should feel bad. Nick and the Bible. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, I'm this guy. Like... like not even not even going to start with Nick Fuentes. Like I haven't even looked into like half of the shit this this guy has said. All right. Hey, it's all about free speech. We'll be right back. Hour number three with Yay and so many more. And we've got Owen Troyer and Ali Alexander loaded, ready to go in the other studio, ten feet through that wall. So they're coming up. Hour number three of the most banned broadcast in the world. Straight ahead. Thanksgiving 2022 is here. We've got the biggest sale of the year going right now. Now, the good news is I'm going to extend this sale up to every product. I should all right. The info Selling the dick pills. Buy fish oil. Look at, all, look at all of that soy, by the way. So much soy. Everywhere, every day would take it's Jones. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it Hi, it's look, he's in the part of the lander of the joke. It's global. We're doing so on touch. We have really big up. You had a big out. Now, sudden, a ding mountain has been banned. Dot com. Anyway, back. Well, yeah, he's got his mask. He's a superhero. I represent the bad guys. David Icke's uh, little reptoids. So. And he's going to bring up David Icke as well. David Icke is like a soccer player 
or a football player, sorry, um, who turned into a conspiracy theorist. Like, we managed to get that brain damage from playing football. Just think. Imagine if David and I had played, like, I don't know, rugby. Oh, now your enemy's in here hosting the show with you, yay. We got Nick Fuentes, one of my best buddies who works for us, does a really good job. What? David Ike's uh, little reptoids. So, now your enemy's in here hosting the show with you, yay. We got Nick Fuentes, one of my best buddies who works for us. Oh, he's really making a joke. He's over there with us. Oh, now he's turning to Alex Jones. So what are we going to do here? Yay. The Balenciaga situation, you made a great point during a break earlier about how they just need a new devil, but that's a devil to distract us from the fact that we become the devil. But that's kind of what you said. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I just saw people <clears throat> making videos about it, and I said, it just seems like it's just more noise and mayhem and uh, code red and things to get people outraged. As I said before, every form code of red. pornography is only one is only oh also he's only going on about pornography now is because he like because uh he's still salty that instagram banned him um basically uh, uh, that that's basically it like he, he he's just really salty that um that that he got banned off instagram so he started uh talking about how, how instagram um is uh Oh, what was it? They, they, Instagram is like um, is showing uh, pornography to children and and being pedophiles and stuff. Like like, it's divorced out energy basically. He doesn't really have anything that he believes in apart from lashing out at everyone who he feels is attacking him. Um, he is the embodiment of America as a country. This is this is what America. This is basically how America reacts to everything. Um, just lashing out at anything that they feel like um, is attacking them, basically, and just coming up with lies. You know, like uh, weapons of mass destruction. It's food for thought, isn't it? I just picked up a pewter necklace, jasmine tea, jasmine tea, and I put on my ring. Uh, I put up, I've picked up a bunch of stuff. All right, pewter necklace. None of this matters. Why do I? Do, why did I put it on then? Fuck it, I'm gonna put them, put the rest of them on as well. <laughs> Consumables. Ah, I need Bocknazul. Needs some of these. Nope. 10 years away from pedophilia. Anybody that's watching pornography, if you're Porn watching a big woman like him have sex to break up? on How camera, so? she's reliving the trauma of being molested. Like a greater majority of women that end up being strippers, <sighs> prostitutes, or, porno or pornographers, adult All right, well, I didn't get um, uh, fiddled or uh, abused outside of what uh, anyone well i mean like i got i guess i got physically abused if you if you would call like um corporal punishment um physical abuse i mean i would but like apart from that which is pretty was considered fairly normal for like people my age um yeah i went into sex work without having um any real history of that so i don't know what statistics is he quoting here is he saying that people from low-income families are more likely to be forced into sex work because i would agree with that is poverty maybe a better explanation <laughs> for the, these issues uh inside uh, the uh, adidas said that kanye would be showing them on his phone during meetings and that sort of thing fucking hell Oh my gosh. It's just a rumor, but, uh, yeah, worth keeping in mind. Film stars have gone through the trauma. That's more of common than you'd think. Experience ped experiencing pedophilia, but 
Sex Especially is illegal in male drug um, that's pushed run to destroy industries. humanity. If you drive down the street in California, they will be pushing strip clubs, they're pushing alcohol, they're pushing sex. It's uh, this is like so for people to have this moral code. So, so business as usual then. Well, like, what, what do you, what's your solution for this? Just Christianity, because uh, it doesn't seem to be working and doesn't seem to have worked ever in the ways that you're talking about right now. I think maybe a more materialistic approach might be necessary. About because uh, Christianity doesn't actually answer the questions for why we have problems in the world. Uh, that's what material analysis does. You need to analyze this stuff materialistically. All right, your boy Octo. You have a good one too. Sleep well. Pedophilia, but no moral code about strip clubs, pornography, and the sex industry. It's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that all of that is wrong. So Jesus said so, or Jesus said no. That's when we just need to so Let me ask you this. What about world population? The globalists say there's too many people. They want to sterilize us. They want to promote transgenderism. They want to depopulate us. Uh, do you what? think that that's... Uh, Fucking what? What? Okay. Uh, accurate? Depopulation. Or, 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 I mean, what do you think of the New World Order and its overall agenda? Our New World Order is a conspiracy theory based on a article written by uh, someone speculating about the future. Um, also a book written by someone from the World uh, Monetary Fund, the WMF, which uh, is an organization which basically serves to, um, uh, as sort of like a propaganda front for... Um, for uh, what you call them? Um, for 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 like rich people, basically. Uh, it's, it's it's like a rich people's union. Maybe we could call it that. It does the same sort of things. It it lobbies governments. It talks about the future. And try and lots of backdoor deals get done. Um, they do lavish conventions and stuff like that. That's basically it. Like, it's not a big deal, really. Like outside of the fact that rich people go and keep on trying to make rich like you're trying to get more money they're just always going to do that um so yeah no it doesn't really worry me in the way that a lot of these things uh, seem to worry other people what why is it always on Iron dagger. Where's my daggers? Daggers. One-handed melee. Where's the good ones? Which one's the good ones? Um, ooh, well, that one's 1,025. Any other good ones? Iron dagger? Wait, is that a dagger or a sword? Yeah, there's a dagger. 1,001. Okay. Let's do some more damage. Oh, shit. I believe so. I'm more of a gut feeling person. Like I said, I'm the battering ram. Um, and you guys are the SWAT team to come in afterwards and then give the information. God has what? people different kind of... Um, Wait, so he's like, he's calling himself worse than no not braids? different kind of warriors, different heights, different mindsets, different colors. Um, and our, our collective agenda needs to be to serve God and what we do. And he's going to, we can't do that. if We don't have an open free debate. What'd you say? I'm sorry. We can't do that. if We don't have an open free debate. And that's what we have. God brought, brought us here. You created this platform, the InfoWars. I heard about the legend of Alex Jones from this lady named Tracy Romulus, Tracy Gwynn, what the who fuck? is faking like a Christian is really, you know what? Much love to Tracy Romulus and Tracy Gwynn because this is the type of person I will sue. I'm just going to say I prefer that person not be next to my children. So much love and Jesus, God bless your family. What? I would prefer that that person be not next to my children. Next person, next subject. Balenciaga, though, you were going to, I mean, just overall, what do you, because obviously you were with a lot of fashion brands. Now all the stuff's come out. It's almost like they did this on purpose as a PR stunt. 
I think so. You know, I'm friends with the head designer uh, and I believe that it was a setup. I think it was a hit job. And now Dude, all of a sudden, what was the setup? Everyone is so outraged and focused. What was the setup? Like someone, like they, they they included a book from like a fucking a guy who painted pictures of like children, castrated children. Like what? Also, I I I would have thought that people like Alex Jones and other t- transphobic people would be like right on board with that stuff. Focus on Balenciaga, but then we're still aborting our kids. We're still fornicating. We're still, um, we're still killing each other. We're still listening to music that promotes that. But oh, we don't, we don't wear Balenciaga now. Y- you shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, what are you doing? You're throwing stones. Oh my God! But you know our moral. Co- so you're talking about like he's talking about performative um, wokeness at this point, which like is is like an issue, but like it's not an issue in the way that they really think it is. It's basically the way that capitalism serves to um, co-opt leftist talking points in order to make them, um, but in order to um, market to a put into a demographic. Still, hold on a second. Oh, yes. Insanity. Oh, we just we just cheated on our wives. We just we just fornicated. We just had threesomes. We just bought some sex on Instagram. We just sold some sex. We use sex to sell a product, but we don't like Balenciaga. Shut up. Shut up. I'm throwing like being into like wait, 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 wait. Like pornography and exploitation of children are two different things like what what is he trying to say here is he trying to conflate like is he trying to conflate um like the Balenciaga's inclusion of like really like not appropriate uh basically yeah exploiting children in a very inappropriate manner is he trying to like conflate that with having threesome? Because having a threesome is not bad in and of itself. It's just, yeah, it's not. That's not a bad thing in and of itself. That's just the thing. That's just the thing that people do. People have threesomes. Deal with it. I don't know. This sounds like some like deep seated trauma, maybe from like maybe going to a uh, swingers party and not really enjoying the experience as much as he thought he would. A la sneaker. We're on the tablets right now. Shut up. Instagram is about prostitution and everyone. And and there it is. Like, he, he can't help but, like, call out the exact group that he doesn't like. He doesn't like it because they fucking banned him. It's not about what he's saying. Like, he dro- he can't help but, like, say the quiet part out loud. And it's really fucking hilarious, but also sad. And I wish people would stop, like, exploiting his fucking decline. (laughs) Involved in any version of the sex business is as bad as the pedophiles. So everyone shut up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm good. So I'm going to keep on talking. Think of all the thousands of topics we can cover in the limited time we have as you're about to get on a plane and go back to another state and do some new stuff. Uh, what else is on your radar? Because there's a lot. What do you think about the Ukraine war? What do you think about the devaluation of dollar? What do you think about FTX and Bitcoin? I mean, there's so many topics. Nick? <laughs> well, I fucking love it. Notice how every time Alex Jones talks about something that that Alex Jones, that, that um, Kanye has doesn't care about because, you know, they haven't, like, banned him or, like, he doesn't think that they've slept the, with, his, with his wife or something like that. He'll just, like, turn to Nick Fuentes. And he doesn't really care what that... what, what, what it is. He doesn't really care about it. It's, it's really fucking apparent. Well, uh, yeah, in terms of Ukraine and Russia, I haven't really seen so much of that in the news. I'm, of course, pro-Putin. I'm very pro-Russia. Um, you know, I am also. Let's go. Yeah. Um, 
you know, you see that this is just an extension of the United States neocon establishment, New World Order type stuff. Um, what does Putin say about America's value system? So he said in a speech when he annexed those uh, two breakaway provinces and he annexed the Donbass, he said in a speech that we have totally abandoned traditional values, traditional faith, and that we've actually embraced full on Satanism. And he's totally right. And well, it's true. America's embracing Satanism. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with embracing Satanism? Like, what, what's your problem with Satanism? Do you know what Satanism is? Or, or, or is this another David Icke? Jewish people uh, are worshipping the devil, um, fucking anti-Semitic uh, conspiracy theory. I think it's the latter one. I don't think they're talking about actual, like, um, sa Satanism, because Satanists are, like, just chill bros. It's just, a, it's just a, Satanism is just a, um, Satanism as an institution these days is just a, um, a stance, it's just another, just a fun stance uh, against uh, Christianity as a um, capitalistic front. My issue with Satanism, though, is that is the embracement of capitalism as a, um, like, as something that is, should, should be embraced rather than destroyed. Like, that's my problem with most Satanists. Like, there is this I, a very, very idea... Uh, very capitalistic view of like we shouldn't be like hiding behind gods um in order to embrace capitalism and like yeah it, it, a lot of the original uh, creators of the movement uh, tended to have this standpoint and i and i don't really like that but you know it's progressed from there and it just sounds scary when you say satanism um as if you know people are like eating babies and stuff because that's actually just combining several anti-semitic conspiracy theories made up by different people at different points in history uh to create a uh whole uh and 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 it's all dog whistles from fuentes but uh kanye says it out loud and it's fucking so cringe and disappointing but uh yeah Whatevs. Whatevs. The two lines. So, have you chosen where to go? What me? Well, perhaps. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel. I don't blame you. Well, according to our chart, if you take. Certainly. The north of. If you take the gate. We. According to our. Certainly. Our ancient. Excellent. You can visit Spruce Mackay and Daggerfall Covenant territory, and I can take the northeast roof of the Aldmeri Dominion for the time. Or oh, pact. I Isle, no, I need to go to the Ebonheart Pact. Hold on. Penrith's Roost, Stross Mackay, no, that's not it. Uh, Bleak Rock Isle? Damn it! Ebonheart Pact. Where is the Ebonheart Pact starting point? Davin's Watch in the province of Davin's Watch? Davin's Watch. Davin's Watch? Nope. Nope. Less than. No. Not as weird. Davin's Watch. I, I, where is it? Hi, Davin's Watch. Where is Davin's Watch? Vardenfell. Is it Vardenfell? No. Map. Davin's Watch. Vivek City. I don't know where Davin's Watch is, though. Balmora. It's a little smaller than I remember it being. Sadrath Mora, no. Oh. Stoneforce. 
Balfoyan? Dalmora? Nah. Bleak Rock Isle. Ah, Bleak Rock Isle? I think that's it. Bleak Rock Isle. Alright. Bleak Rock Isle. Aha! Ta da! Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, start the Evan Hart Pact storyline. Yes. Here we go. Alright. And, and but, but Jesus is alive. And these things are going to pull. It's, it's a, a movement. God, the devil is a defeated foe. Mm. We're not even going to speak any of that into existence. God runs the world and it's freedom fighters for Christ like us today that are going to stop it right now and say, we got to start here. Each one of us, we are the. Why does an all powerful, all knowing, all seeing God need people to stop the devil if the devil has already been defeated? Like, surely God doesn't need any of us to do anything because he's all-powerful, right? Surely God's will be done whether we um, work towards that or not, right? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Church, we are the priests of our homes. All the men's are the priests of the homes and everyone is the body of Christ. And we start here. Sin, it's like we're a glass of water and sin is like throwing acid and used plastic and uh, stepped on bugs in a glass. And then you want to pour some water in and it tastes, it tastes bad. So what you want to, you want to cover it with an alcohol flavor or with some food coloring or with a sex. So sin is all the things that, that he doesn't like. And he's tried to cover that up with drugs and alcohol in the past. And that doesn't seem to be working. So now he's turned to God um, and changing, you know, the bad things that happened to him to like include sin instead of dealing with the issues that he has in life. Okay. I mean, weird flex, but okay. See outfit or something. And then you want to just keep on drinking that sin and not understand why your stomach is hurting in the morning. And uh, I know as a recovering alcoholic that, you know, a, a cure a for sin a hangover shake, you is will, yeah. drink. And that's basically what we've been doing. We're all orphans of Keep doubling down. We're, yeah, we're orphans of capitalism. So when we talk about the ideas that we have for the newer version, the amended con constitution that- and, and he's so close. Me and Nick he's are- so close to coming up with something. So fucking close, but uh, nope. 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 It's cap capitalism is the problem. But uh, we're going to, like, turn away from the issues within society and then blame it on the devil. But the devil can't blame it on the devil because the devil's defeated already. Uh, but then sin is bad and it makes and it makes you feel bad. So then you drink uh, instead of turning to God. But and the devil makes you do things. But the devil can't make you do things because he's been defeated. But then you let him in after he's been defeated. But like that makes no sense because you know, I, th I thought he was supposed to have been defeated. Y'all just say whatever the fuck you want, don't you, in America, to come up with a an idea of how things work, right? It just seems that you make up whatever you whatever you feel like instead of actually coming to terms with the problems in your society. Matt, rewriting and working on right now, and the ideas of purifying our system because we need will and expertise. Well, let's talk about that. You say you're going to run for president 2024. I'm not, no, Alex, you're really good at stating things in a way that you get you sued. So. <laughs> no, I thought you were, you're you announcing for president. Did I? Right. No, I'm not announcing. Uh, Alex, love you, love you, love you. What I'm saying with the conversation that we're having about a possible 2024 uh, walk 
and a victory at the office. America, I'm putting everything on the line for the truth to bring you a cleaner system. Our system has been dirtied and muddied and destroyed. I am not the old, I am not the most knowledgeable Christian and I'm not the most knowledgeable politician, but I am truthful. I'm That's not good enough. So he's basically saying like, I don't really know anything about what I'm trying to do, um, but I'm going to tell the truth. Fuck, dude, you, you are useless as a candidate. <laughs> you want to run a country on that platform? Okay. Nobody's hard. No, no, I believe that what I was trying to get to is what is your platform? And you text me your platform. It makes a lot of sense. Well, it's it starts here with the Bible. And we're going to work through this with our designers. We're going to approach America. Give me, I'll give him 10 seconds before he turns to Nick Fuentes again. Uh, like Steve Jobs, Jobs approached Apple. We are the youngest startup in history, but we're the world power because of our military and mainly because of our naval force. And it shows how smart and how powerful Americans are. The engineering, the sheer engineering, we invented. So might is right. Not so. So it starts with the Bible, and then it ends with being military. We 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 strong, and we we hit other countries. Okay. Apple, we have the strongest. Well, and for with that, you are you know, so you do seem to like be sharing a lot with uh, other. Yeah. Military, and now we have to take that same type of sensibility, take it out of Wall Street's hands, and give it to the people. That hey, socialism, socialism. Oh no, but that's not real socialism. That's going to be like uh, fascism. It's like we'll be putting it into the people's hands, but we need to keep control over it because people are dumb. Mine that created the trams, that made Disney, that made Pixar, that made Lucas Films, that made Apple. That engineering mind, these minds that we have, need are going to be brought together to cure America, and then we will influence the rest of the world into higher consciousness and into peace. And I agree. We were given that Ow. birthright, and somehow it's been lost. I want to talk about that. And after you leave soon. We're going to have Owen and everybody else and myself stay here and continue on and take calls. And as long as you can stay, I know you got to go soon. But I wanted to bring in Owen Schroeder and Ali Alexander who helped get you here for their take and any questions they've got for Ye. Because you guys have great questions, great comments. Uh, so Owen Schroeder and uh, Ali Alexander. I will, I'll hold my questions for Ye later because I kind of want to come in because we have a lot of eyes on this transmission right now. And there's a lot of people sharing their opinions on the internet with this right now. And so I kind of just want to... You know, I just want to take a step back and just say, look, we're in a difficult realm with what we're doing here today, trying to balance fun and seriousness, because we are serious people. We have serious missions and goals, but we also want to have fun. We don't want to hate life. We want to enjoy life, and we want other people to enjoy life. And when I see the response on the Internet from the haters and the people getting angry today, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a little perturbed. Let Ye speak. Let the man speak. You may not agree with what he has to say, but why don't you want him to speak? No one stopped him speaking. Why are people talking as if, like, Kanye's, like, stopped speaking? Like, understand that, like, nobody's going to stop him speaking until he's not valuable to anyone anymore. Fucking hell, like, you talk as if, you talk as if there's, like, a group of people going around, like, shutting Kanye down. When really it's just like people have people are making bank, and when they finish making bank, they're gonna move on. That's the market, baby. I don't get it. Same thing with Alex Jones. Why don't you want Alex to speak? What is wrong with you? Why are you so angry? Why are you so serious all the time? If you don't like what they say, tune it out. But here's what gets me, Alex. This is what this is what bothers me. It's bothered me with the attacks on you over the years. It bothers me with the attacks we see on Ye today. Whether you agree with everything he said or disagree with everything he said, let's get our priorities straight here, okay? If you're upset with what Kanye West has said today, it's let Ye, me remind sir. you that I, Kanye I West, Ye. excuse me, Ye, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me correct that, Ye, if you're upset with anything Ye has said here today, Ye is not the person in Chicago shooting people every night, teenagers, innocent people dying. Ye is not the person in D.C. in Congress selling this country out for decades. Ye is not the person with big pharma 
that's killed millions of people with their products, it's all come out in court, that still has influence to mandate their products on the people, that's not yay. Yay is not the one that's lying us into wars where millions of people die and trillions get spent. So for all the backlash, all the huffing and puffing that we're gonna see from this interview in the next 48 hours, you're all clowns. You're all clowns. If this interview upsets you, your priorities are so out of whack, and I don't even think you have the capability to enjoy life anymore. And you need to take a serious look and reflection in the Well, mirror. they're against free will. They're against free open discussion, which shows they're evil. And anyone going along with censoring somebody's speech is a fraud and an enemy of the people. But we are, the people are not evil. It's Satan that controls the people and puts demonic blocks. But Satan's been defeated. You the truth in front of you, you can't even hold the truth. Like it's demonic blocks. I can go to Kim and say, hey, put your family first. Uh, you have someone who loves you. Put us first. Put your children's first. And it's demonic blocks bringing her into traumatic, uh, you know, everything. However, she was pushing to the sex tape. She's pushing to uh, saying that she had sex with Pete Davidson in front of a, a, a fireplace. Hulu does not love you, Kim. Disney does not love you, Kim. Come home, Kim. Come home to Christ. Go to God. Yeah, Go yeah come to 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 to, to, to yeah. you, you, you fucking it, it, It's all about God until it becomes personal. That's amazing. I love it. Go to Jesus because you saying you might not ever get, or marry somebody. Great. Go, go marry Tom Brady, whatever you want to do, but get married and use your platform as an influence to keep families together. Don't let the devil use you. And those people that are out there mad at the ability for us to say things for consciousness, we have to, I have to think, okay, white lives matter. I'm going to do a t-shirt. I'm going to make it. You understand? Woke culture is controlled by the Zionist media, making people... No, 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 no. no. And I'm pretty sure I've missed a few as well. But no, no. Like, um, this is this is the uh, misunderstanding that people keep on making about performative wokeness is the idea that it's an appeal to a market. It's something that already existed. The LGBTQA plus community exists, and corporations decide to market to that community it's not the fact that the lgbtq plus um community has been built by corporations or some form of like american imperialism like no they've been co-opted something which exists has been co-opted by capitalism and fascism which is something that happens over and over and over again in history yay if you like Hitler so much, why don't you learn about how Hitler used leftist messaging, co-opted leftist messaging, to get into power? And how that worked. But you won't, because you actually don't understand what you're talking about. You're acting from, like you said, a gut feeling, and that is, you're unfortunately, your gut feeling that you have you seem to have a divorced dad I I in that part of your body that that's what your gut feeling is and you probably need to start li listening to the thoughts in your head rather than divorced dad energy Bad outrage going out the street we're so outraged but you're not doing anything yourself to change it and follow god and follow christ we haven't said anything against the word of god today god says love everyone so if i say i love the zionists that that cancel my account then i can say i love i your there were no zionists that counted that canceled your account there was a company that canceled the business account connected to your Apple Pay, um, and the prison thing was because you didn't pay your fucking taxes. Get with it, dude. So much cope. I did not consent. I do love Hitler. I do love the Zionists. I love everyone. The, the, the Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. I think more like someone that's on the spectrum, since that's what they want to claim. Well, let me be on the spectrum of love because love. No one says you're autistic, dude. Wait, people saying that he's autistic? 
He doesn't. He's not acting like he's autistic. What the fuck? Well, that's a good yeah. T-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm joking. Well, and I think what, too. The, and, and, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones like absolutely knows what he's talking yeah, about. I love, I love Zionists too. Oh, sorry. I love Zionists. We love everyone. You're love just saying love humanity and stop getting past the labels. It's Lo a very love is the key. Everyone's promoting this loathing and it's time to promote love god no i hear you love. let's bring in ollie alexander who helped get this done ollie i've known you for years but this is quite the broadcast this is definitely so far in 2022 the biggest broadcast of the year <laughs> this is it yeah don't put this on me ricky bobby that's right uh, ahead, if you're not first you're last come on uh, ollie you're on air give us your take on no this. no i mean I, I this is great look i love everybody on screen and and i love them and i like them and i frankly i endorse them and i think that what owen said is absolutely right is like you can look at this interview and you can be triggered you know you can engage your ego and say uh uh yay endorsed genocide when he didn't you could look at this broadcast and say uh nicholas Fuentes. Yay in this interview, I don't know if he said it late, says it later on in this interview, or if he said it already, because this is a very, very long video. Um, he said he, he denied the Holocaust in this video. So, get your facts straight. That's not true. That's a fucking lie. Kanye said some pretty fucking hateful things in this video. Holy shit. This is a 23, 24 year old, you know, secret dog whistling KKK Nazi. But that's no, also. No, no, no. He's not. No, Kanye's not a secret dog whistling Nazi. He's he's a divorce. He's he's an angry man with divorce dad issues. Uh, he's a divorce daddy issues um, man who's raging and like just fucking digging himself a hole. Um because and no one is um making any attempts to um you know save him from himself uh because it's much more profitable for people to use him on his way down that's sad but that's what's going on um yeah that's just what's happening and at the end of the day like I don't know where I was going with that. My brain's just turned off. Sorry, guys. Not the case. You could say that Alex Jones and Owen Schroyer are actually platforming hate, but that's not what's going on at all. And I think what's powerful about this broadcast, I really think... Alex literally is platforming a white supremacist on one side, and on the other side, someone who says that uh, he loves Hitler and that the, that the Holocaust didn't happen. Oh, sorry. The quote is, the Holocaust didn't happen like that. That's what Ye said. So... How is that not platforming hate? You're a fucking idiot. That we're making narrative history. Who is, is this guy? We're breaking the Overton window. The Republican establishment sold us out. Con the conservative movement sold us out. The churches, they closed. So when we looked for leadership on the right, there was none. Okay, when Owen Schroyer got charged, when Ollie Alexander got sued and investigated, Alex, when you got sued, did we get a call from Mar-a-Lago saying, hey, I'm a billionaire and I want to I help fund what you guys have been through for me? No, we didn't. So here we are left with the last option on InfoWars, the home of the resistance, and we're a bunch of pseudo-celebrities with one celebrity saying, okay, well, then we're just going to break the chessboard. We're getting off your chessboard because it is rigged. It's rigged by Lucifer. It's rigged by the Satanists. It is rigged by the Jewish mafia, and people don't want to say that. It's rigged by the Marxists and the leftists and all of these people. And it's actually, frankly, rigged oh. by people who would, you know, betray Christ within the church, the apostates. So I think that this broadcast should encourage everybody to take everyone else just at their word, only use what they're saying, take it in good faith and in the best light, and stop relying on the ADL and the SPLC or Twitter trends. In fact, Elon should get rid of Twitter trends. There shouldn't be editorial little comments. Well, they always control it anyways. We hit number one, they took it off. But bigger than that, what about the biomedical? What? Done randomly. You were suspended for banning trans hopes on a chat. Oh my gosh. How did that go down? Mafia. The big pharma, it's the king daddy with the central banks. You know, so my only concern about talking about certain other elites, how about the big corporate elite that all links up with one agenda, yeah? Jesus runs the world. Elon needs to put Alex Jones.
back on the platform because I don't agree with someone that doesn't believe in Christ saying, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, not you. And this is my friend, right? This is my boy, but we can agree to disagree, right? But it's still his platform. It's up to him. But also, I'm not a person that's going to say, hey, I agree with everything. There's things that I said today that you guys don't agree with because you're not in the same place or in the same position in your walk that I'm at. I'm in a... Hmm? Uh, you're watching a video that helped you a lot of weight, weight loss and voice training was banned because she showed a topless pic of her pre-HRT to show her weight off. Ugh, that's like gender affirming in the worst place, worst way possible. My gosh. That's fucking annoying. Position where that's I love the person who, the doctor that had that. plastic surgery on my mom. I always have been in a way where it's, I can't hate. I am you said your mother was sacrificed. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I believe that Michael Jordan's dad was sacrificed. I believe, uh, didn't something happen with Tiger Woods? Yeah. Uh, my mom, these are all Zionist uh, sacrifices that happened. But this is Satan at the end of the day. There's a lot of people that feel like we're at the end of day. She paid good money for a double day cleavage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Free, free the boobs. Seriously, like I, I don't understand like why there isn't a eighteen plus part of Twitch. Well, I mean, I do know why because of the Christian lobby. Um, does lobby um, Visa and all of these accounts to uh, prevent people from being able to receive funding or like money or donations for it. Yeah, advertise. Yeah, but then don't advertise on those things. Like, that, that's the thing. You just don't use advertising for it and make money through uh, subs. Like, you would make a fucking killing from doing that. But the reason would be that um, Visa would pull out because of the Christian lobby. Ace. And Jesus runs the world. God runs the world. Jesus is the real king of Israel. And I'm, I'm just a simple servant of, of God. Wait, no, like, Kanye, Kanye. Kanye, dude, my, my dude, um, uh, like, the reason, the, the reason why the, the king, king of the, of Israel thing was, was, was that the Romans put a sign above his head to make fun of him, um, like, calling him, you know, king of the Jews. Like it was, it was, it it was. That's not how how it works. Uh, they constantly ruin America and the internet. They they're ruining the world. They are ruining the world. Oh, interesting. Okay, build one. Okay, so I have this build. Okay, so you can you can do bu different builds then. So that's good. I can leave that as is for now. Cool. Yay! Uh, Visa, Procter and Gamble, Donald's, Coca-Cola, Amex, PayPal, so many more would fall out quickly if it was eighteen plus anywhere. Yeah, yeah. The 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 main things would be Visa and PayPal. Um, that's why that that's the reason why um um they th th that's the reason why um uh OnlyFans almost banned uh, eighteen plus content. <laughs> Also, welcome back, CFC. CFC first. I'm I'm not a mathematician. Oh, no, I hear you. You, you. you said white lives matter because I think you. I'm going to put words in your mouth. You understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a, a crisis and for us to fight with each other. I thought that was very true. I think they all them? lives matter. I don't, like, you I, I don't even need to ask white lives point, You got criticized for that. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I thought that. I I thought that that was my right. I felt that it, <laughs> I, I just exercise rights. Still that wouldn't redeem him in my eyes. Uh, given to whites, a white person can wear a T-shirt that says "Black Lives Matter," but for a black person to wear a T-shirt that says "White Lives Matter," that somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and saying, "Hey, what do you think about this? What about that?" And if we don't, I disavow. Use, I disavow. Use our consciousness. They're trying to beat us into our consciousness and make us ignorant. They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest mm -hmm. IQ here of anyone speaking. Non-binary non Jewish people. And I'm saying 
say out loud what we feel, we would no longer be ran by the idea of fake influence and celebrities. I did. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt you. No, no, I, no, 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 no. Hold on, Alex. Don't interrupt. Me. <laughs> I, I tried. I denounce every celebrity. I denounce every celebrity I ever stood next to. God bless you. And you know, that's the Christian word of what I really want to say. Any celebrity, only celebrity that I rock with is Ray J. Yeah. Literally. Every well, I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, um, he'll keep on being platformed while he makes money for people. They are, they, Nick Fuentes, Alex Jones, they don't care about Kanye. They don't give a fuck about him. Kanye, and, and Kanye, when Kanye realizes this, he'll turn around and talk, and, and claim that, um, Nick Fuentes and, uh, Alex Jones is, um, are, are all pedophiles as well, because that's what he does. Like, that's what he does when someone does something he doesn't like. He just makes up shit about them. Yeah, that was, that, yeah, Nick, Nick Nick knows what he's doing. Like, nobody knew who the fuck Nick was, like, three, four years ago. Nobody fucking knew what he, who he was. I disavow CFC burst. Although in my if I had a Minecraft character, PVP on. Yeah, that's why he's um, backtracked on the white supremacist uh, stuff. Because I am I am convinced that I heard him say in his own words that he was a white supremacist and a fascist, but. Alright. Claim those points. Claim that meal. Claim that stamina! <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't speculate about his feelings towards himself. Honestly, but... Ooh, critical chance, yes. Medium, armor, healing done, windwalker, stamina recovery, stamina cost, yes. Yeah, medium armor, soul magic, I'm just going to put soul trap on the, on the page so that it, it, it uh, levels up. You have to... These things only level up once, um, once you, um, put them on your belt, so, like, I'm just gonna put them on the belt. Oh, yeah! We be, we be, we be doing, we be doing, Steve. I need more points, though. Alright. LGBT community will be working with if he shut the fuck up about Nazis, but it's going to be hard to sell. I think he might get hurt first. I, no, I think, I honestly think that, um, he's, he, he's, he's a full-on white supremacist. Like, he's, he's, he's a brown shirt boy. But, yeah. This is why I, this is why I love the, uh, furry community so much, because the furry community does a whole lot of anti-fascist action. Yeah, my furry brethren. Like, I may not be a furry. Uh, right now, I guess I'm a scaly because of my character. I call I called her runs in runs in hexes. Get it? Like seconds. It's funny. I find it funny. Shut up! I find it funny. I'm gonna steal everything from your house. <laughs> Milo trying his hardest to make people believe he's no longer gay. Like, do you believe the the stuff? That um that the the claims uh, about uh, how like um Milo is is literally trying to sabotage the entire uh, Republican Party because like even if it's not true like it's happening right it's even if it's a, like a happy accident right like that's kind of what's happening isn't it. He's kind of ruining the whole... He's right, kind of fucking up the whole party at this point. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just trying to steal everything from here. 
It's just trying to get money. Wait, there's a naked dude running around. Talk to her. Oh, she's aware of me. Too far, common, 30% uh, chance, nope. I'm being sneaky. Milo doesn't like Trump. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Milo just seems like someone who wants money. I, I see, I see what his actions are as more of a grift than anything else. Wait, what? Okay, I'm starting shit. I'm starting shit in the Crucible server again. Yay! He tried to kiss him, and Trump pulled away. Not close to kiss him. Ugh. Imagine if fucking, like, I, like, I just imagine Milo to smell like the worst brand of cigarettes, like his breath. Oh shit, it's 11. Ah, I wanna- I wanna keep streaming and playing. Sauvage by DR- I- I don't know what that is, but I- 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 I've got, um... Something nice. Heard he wears too much. I'm not surprised. I- I bet it's overbearing. But yes, that is all for me today. I think that's another hour into it, so that's good. We've got uh, an hour left to go on this video, and hopefully there's no friggin' TOS stuff in the final hour. <sighs> but yeah. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah, we will do the last hour tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, no, I always enjoy your stay. You should have been here earlier. There were some people who were just like, uh, there was like nothing but trolls in my chat and it was hilarious. But they ran away when they realized that they couldn't say transphobic stuff to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> all right. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Love you all. Mwah.